I think we're up and running. Oh goodness, why can I hear myself? Uh oh. I can I can hear myself. <laughs> uh, this is going to drive me nuts. Well, I did say there would be some uh, shenanigans. I think the exact words, it could be a complete disaster. Right, so I've got the stream muted in the YouTube stu studio. Why can I hear this? I can't even finish talking because the words are clipping over so quickly. I feel like I'm already saying the syllables. Also, why is the Starfield audio not working? Oh, that's fine. All right, now I'm getting suggestions from YouTube. Okay, it says the audio bit rate is zero, but the audio is working. This doesn't make any sense. My audio bit rate is 256. I don't get it. Now I gotta know. Okay, my phone's not open. It's not picking anything up. If there's anybody out there, is it a double audio on your end too or just mine? So it says I'm live. And what? So it says I'm okay, it's not coming through on your end. But it's something on my end that's doing it. Can I hear myself through OBS or something? I, I don't know. I've never had this happen with Twitch. I've never had a reverb like that. So that's closed. That's muted. Um, does anybody know why there may be an echo? I'm going to Google it real quick. I mean, I would really like to uh, play this game. Island setting audio. Can y'all just type this? I don't want to have to watch a video for something that should be a two sentence. I'm not capturing my desktop audio. Settings, audio, 
spices. Uh, I can't change that midstream. Thanks, friend. audio devices. You know what? If my mic disappears, it's because I'm doing what the video said to do. Alright. Oh, it looks like that may have worked. Nope. I can still hear myself. Why? I mean, I guess I'll just stream with no headphones in and then I don't get to listen to the audio at all. No music, no nothing. All right, so in order to get you to hear the audio, I have to basically, whoa. All right. Now I don't hear anything, that's right. Okay, I had to disable and re-enable, I guess is how that's working. Yo, goon, good, thank you. Hey, it works, <laughs> thank you for the sub. All right, so you can hear me. I can no longer hear me. I think this is doable. <laughs> All right, who wants to play some games? <laughs> me, I do. All right, I also don't want to blow out your ears, so I gotta turn me down a bit. Starfield audio is down. Okay, can you hear the game also? So I have all these Stargate characters. I have Janet, Vala, Sam, Daniel, Jack, Teal'c, and of course Hammond. Um, which you can't see because they're behind my camera, of course. Anyway, we're playing Daniel today, but we are reloading the base save because I originally made him an introvert, which works great for Daniel, but if my new plan is to make him run the constellation missions and do all of the companion missions, uh, st or stories, I should say, um, I want him to not get a debuff for having a companion when he's going to pretty much need to have one the entire time now. So we're just going to remake Daniel. We're going to do it pretty quick. He may not look exactly like Daniel. But we're going to uh, get him all sorted. Because all I had done so far was basically made the characters. I think this needs to be brighter. There we go. Hey! Now I can see you. Me? Can you see me? Hi! Alright, the chat's not coming through on the OBS over here, so I can't see if you're talking. Hey, come on. Come How am on. I supposed to watch okay, the chat? Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Express. <laughs> yeah, thanks, fun. <laughs> Any of this look familiar? All right, I'm just going to set my phone over here so I can see the chat. Um, let's see. We're going to find somebody who kind of looks like Daniel already. Because this part takes so freaking long. Honestly, I think that's the base face that I use because he's got the blue eyes and stuff. I don't have to change a lot. Okay, let's go with that. Enough. All right, face. Well, let's do hair. Make his hair that floppy. The floppy Daniel hair. 
don't remember which one I used. Not those. Oh dear. It was a floppy Daniel hair. Oh, I think that may have been it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. That looks like floppy Daniel hair. Gotta run and grab the tea. Okay, thanks, fun. Um, color is actually pretty good. Maybe we lighten it. No, we'll just leave it. Head shape is fine. Skin tone is fine. Facial hair. I like the five o'clock shadow. Works for him really well. Eyes look good. If anything, I just want to bring the chin and stuff back a little. His chin is too far forward. strong of a jawline, though. Oh, we'll keep him nice and rounded. Uh, but we needed to go back. Maybe not that far back. I really didn't want to have to remake the character, but once I figured out what I wanted to do with him, I was like, yeah, that's not gonna work. Honestly, that's not a bad Daniel. He's kind of, kind of pouty looking. We gotta fix his skin, though. He's not supposed to have that many freckles. I don't remember it's been so long since I made it. I don't really see anything happening. <laughs> Some of these settings are just useless. Okay, I see. It's like bags under his eyes and stuff. Yeah. Well, maybe a little bit. We'll go with that, whatever it is. Why does he have... Why does he have age spots on his neck? How do I get rid of those? Okay, dermesthetic didn't do it. Complexion didn't do it. Blemishes doesn't do anything. Facial forms, scars, none of those do anything. So, is it? It's not tattoos. It's not dirt. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. Skin tone? No. Guys, why is his skin so messed up? Yes, Michael Shanks. I had a much better version of him on, uh... Oh, let me pull it up on Discord. Actually, I don't think I have to open Discord. Let me close Discord. I can get to it easier and, uh... Let's see, characters, here we go. Less effort. Daniel Jackson. Yeah, this is pretty much the same guy, except I don't have blemishes on him. I'm not going to be able to live with myself if I'm stuck with the neck blemishes. Yeah, I didn't change a lot about him. I made his nose a little wider. Or a little slimmer. Um, a little bit wider. But... Um, I don't know, 
nose tip up. He's kind of a cutie patootie. Oh, I'm good with this. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't know why he's got all these random age spots going on that I can't get rid of. That's That's driving me a little cuckoo over here. Because dermesthetic is supposed to be, like, burns and age spots and freckles and moles and things like that. Because, like, yeah. It's like on his forehead up here. All this. This is from the dermesthetic. Right? So if I get rid of the dermesthetic, it all goes away. But yet he's still got freckles on, so why? And it's not like they go away when I change it. So they're just baseline for him. Find the complexion. Woo. All right. Blemishes, none. Scars, none. Facial forms, none. I don't understand. The facial forms aren't going away. They're not changing anything. This is not even... Okay, hopefully this is what they're fixing in the next patch, but I guess Daniel's gonna have freckles and age spots. Man, that sucks. Confirm. Okay, so he's got the spots. Let's find somebody who doesn't have the spots. What about this guy? We can tweak him a little bit and make him a little paler. He might make a decent Daniel. Alright, let's try. We know what we want to do with the hair. There he is. So, woo, <laughs> purple hair, let's go. All right, so there we go, facial hair, back down to five o'clock shadow. All right, his chin needs to be not so pointy. Eyes, eyebrows are fine. Well, darken his eyebrows a little. I will darken his facial hair a little. I am super cheesed that the facial hair colors numbers don't match the regular hair color numbers. That's way more five o'clock shadow than I wanted. Sorry about the boring character creation part. Okay, let's get his cheeks a little fleshed out. Whoa! Where'd them pouty lips go? Honestly, eight's not bad. Nine isn't bad. I like nine. Nine's good. Widen his jaw out a little. Gosh, could you stop, like, zooming in? I 
on my work. Oh, here we go. Well, maybe not that round. Collection color temp. Lower the intensity. Get aesthetic, but lower the intensity. God, do back up. No blemishes, no scars, no facial forms. Whoop, that's makeup. Nope. Okay, so skin tone, we're just going to lighten them up a bit. There we go. There we go. I think we got ourselves a Daniel. Duh, what do y'all think? I'm, I'm cool to roll with this. It looks like Daniel on the planet hasn't shaved for a day and a half. Maybe a day. I don't know. Maybe we just get rid of the facial hair. Oh, baby face, Daniel. Okay, what do you think? With facial hair? Five o'clock shadow style? Or without facial hair? Which one? With? Without. Thoughts, thoughts. Time to head to bed? Alright, Goon. Thanks for stopping by for a few minutes. I appreciate it. Sorry we didn't get to the actual gameplay in time. First stream, lots of troubleshooting, that kind of stuff. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like him without facial hair. I feel like I need to get the chin right if I'm going without facial hair, though. God, that's an Adam's apple. Maybe... Maybe we do a neck that's not quite as uh, abrupt there. There we go. That's more gentle. I like that. Okay. He's a young Daniel Jackson. Fresh. Well, this is a uh, this is a season five Daniel, so he should be a little bit more grizzled. Um. Season five is when. Oh, cool. Season 5 is when he deviates and accidentally falls into the future, as one does on Stargate SG-1. Oh my gosh, fun. <laughs> I'm looking at an option. I kind of like the freckles. It gives him a little bit of character. I don't... Daniel didn't have that many freckles, but we can pretend. Or just give him a beauty mark. <laughs> he's Daniel, he's beautiful. <laughs> I like the random scar on the forehead. I like that. We're going to go with that. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. Um, fun, now that I've got you back. I need you to tell me what you think. Wait, hold on. Still playing with this dermostatic thing. Oh, that's good enough. Tell me what you think about the facial hair. Do I go without facial hair for a baby face look? Or do I go with the facial hair for a more grizzled? And this is season five, Daniel. He's seen a lot of shit. Sometimes he just doesn't get to shave. <laughs> I wonder if there's a better 5 o'clock. Oh, there we go. 
That's the better 5 o'clock shadow. There we go. I kind of like that. Or do you think it's better, baby face? I mean, he's usually well shaved on the TV show. Right? It just, it doesn't seem to check out for, for somebody who's not necessarily going to be there every single... Yeah, I think that's probably a, a better look. Alright, we're gonna roll with it. Let's go. Background. My dude is gonna be a... I think he's gonna be a pilgrim? I was going back and forth between pilgrim and professor. But since I'm re... He was already a pilgrim. Since I'm remaking him... Maybe I just go with professor. Let me exit some of these programs over here. Stand by. Woo! Caught the sneeze. Didn't sneeze in your ear. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Goodness. Sorry, now I'm gonna sniffle in your ear. I like the I like the five o'clock shadow look. Yeah. I like that. Okay. But that begs the question. Do we stick with prof or do we stick with pilgrim or do we make him a professor? I wasn't planning on doing any research stuff with him really, um, but I also gastronomy is research related, so I don't know. As a character. He tries a lot of stuff that random cultures offer him. So gastronomy, roleplay-wise, made sense. And surveying, since he's an archaeologist, he does surveys. And scavenging, since he's an archaeologist, you know, he's constantly digging through, looking for little things. So he's got an eye for finding stuff. So the pilgrim made sense to me, roleplay-wise. But he is a professor. He's just not a professor of geology or astrodynamics. I don't know. We're going to go with Pilgrim. I've convinced myself. All right, we got Pilgrim, right? Yes. And traits. Okay, so we're going to make him an empath. Because we want to build relations with our followers. Yeah, I'm on my own there. Thanks, fun. Uh, he is raised enlightened, not necessarily, uh, he, he fits in with the folks who were raised enlightened, because this is just all about allowing humanity to be the best they can be. In general, be, be good, do good, uh, and we will all have a better existence. So he can slide, kind of slide into that, that religion. Yo, Stain! Because it's not really a religion, it's more just a way of being. And then I believe his last one was terra firma, because he's an archaeologist and he's going to be down, like, on planet side doing planet things. That, that made sense to me. How are you doing, Stain? So, OBS is not actually tracking my chat, which is driving me crazy. Um, I don't know where to go to track my chat. Oh, okay. I just have to be on YouTube to do it. Well, that's interesting. Now I'll... Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think we're ready. So his name is Daniel Jackson. Uh, how far can I get as a hobo murdering things with a wrench, dude? <laughs> I love it. Alright. So, 
Daniel Jackson, he, him, names, yeah. confirm, let's go. Let's get, let's get the gaming on. Listed pilgrim on your application. I don't see many people on spiritual journeys in this life. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? I like getting paid. All right, so Daniel, he's the the one most likely to embrace the dream and the vision. So it was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just all the right. endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. How far did you All get, this Zane? Trouble for that stupid thing? Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it Is there like. supposed to be an echo it's in the game? More than this mine has pulled in all month. Will be speak of the devil. Oh, maybe so, because we're inside this place. I forgot where we were. Okay, I want to show y'all something too. I have this amazing little Stargate that, wow, the delay on this YouTube studio is just god-awful. I haven't even picked this thing up yet in my, wow, it's stuck on the Daniel screen. I hope y'all are getting this, okay. Screw it, I'll just use my phone. Okay, so, this is the cool Stargate thing that I got. Um, went to the Holiday Bazaar locally. Okay, now... Oh. Did I move it the right way? No, I moved it the wrong way. Okay. God, this is still an awful delay. I want OBS back. Here we go. Look at that. It is a handcrafted... Stargate with all these cute little mushrooms and there's a little gecko on the stairs and it lights up. Like watch this. <laughs> it's awesome. So this is going to be in my background anytime I'm streaming. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I think, okay, whew, get zoomed out. All right, so I installed, like, a shitload of mods. I installed, like, 20 mods, guys, and I'm, I was just positive it was all going to break the game, but check it out. I've got the quantity and mass of items in each group. So if I go to resources, I've got beryllium and calamite, and it tells me how many I have, how much they weigh, their total value, and the value per mass. Ayo! <laughs> so the higher this number is, the better. So yeah, I, I love, oh my gosh, Star UI is fantastic. I'm, I love it. It's amazing. Um, what's another one? Let's see. Uh, oh, fast menus in general, so that I don't have to wait, like, two seconds between every menu. So if you go to star map, so I've got zoom in maps on my location, but if you zoom all the way out to the planet side, now it zooms in, like, I've got cool icons for things instead of just black and white that mean different things. And you can zoom way in. So like this used to be, or I think this used to be the maximum zoom in. And now you can zoom way, way in. Which helps you really kind of find the fine details on where you want to make your plot. So that's cool. Um, and check out the star map. Yo, it's color coded. Green is low level and red and orange are high level. Which, this is why I think I had such a hard time like finding things. Because, yeah, like Sky, like Sky UI, exactly. This is why I had such a hard time, like, finding and doing things, because, like, all the planets it was telling me to go to were, like, Cheyenne and Voli and uh, Porima and things like that. And so I was like, oh, well, I need to move to the right. That's where I need to be going. But then I couldn't find anything that was, like, a low level, right? Because even, like, 
Crix, which is where you go for pirate stuff, is level 20. And I'm like, boy, I just joined the pirates as a level 8. So I can't get to the pirate place without dying. So now I know. Here's where all the low level ones are. Go left. Go left to find all the low level stuff. But yeah. Now, now it's, now it's making sense. It's making a lot more sense. Because I'm sitting here like, gosh, why does it take forever to fly to Leviathan, but Cheyenne is right there? Oh, well, because Leviathan is spatially way, way back into the screen. And now I can actually kind of see those differences with the, the colors in place. So that's another one of my favorite cool new things. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go steal some shit. Oh, cool. And so on hover, it tells me what the values are. Oh, that's really nice. That's cool. That's awesome. Whoop. Chair in my way. Sports bottle. Whoa. Uh, have I not learned how to eat? <laughs> space undersuit? I love it. Lady, you're you're getting in the way. I'm trying to steal things. I mean borrow things. Oh look, credits. <laughs> Or steal things. <laughs> yeah, right. You need some coffee or something? Yeah, I could do some coffee. Actually, that's a good idea. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Gosh, I haven't played this early stuff in a while. Anyone else to bother? I guess, I guess I haven't learned how to use the scanner yet, so... Oh, you know what? I haven't gotten the scanner yet, that's why. Screw it. We'll do this later. What? Um, this way. Ha! Do you, uh... Do you mind if I eat that sandwich? I think we'll be done here soon. Can I... I hear this is the last dig. Eat the sandwich? Hey, that was my sandwich. <laughs> yeah. It was a delicious sandwich. That's its basic rights. All right, know your workers' basic rights. All employees have a right to basic human rights, privacy in the workplace, a safe workplace environment, be trained to deal with workplace hazards. A right to fair wages uh, for work performed. A private and family life. Be free from discrimination and harassment. Be free from retaliation for filing claims. Be monitored by employer. View any information about you. But some of these have little asterisks, and I can't read the fine print. The ones that have asterisks specifically are basic human rights, which concerns me. <laughs> um, freedom from retaliation and... Something about being monitored by my employer. So I'm not I'm not sure I like all that. I can't I can't read the fine print. What? Oh, I'm working. That's funny. I never bothered to stop and read that sign. I just I didn't. I'd already have a cutter. <sighs> Alright, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Oh, helmet. Check. Equip. Okay. Oh, fast, fast menu exit or something was one of the ones. You're supposed to like hold tab to exit the menu, so you have to wait the two seconds for it to register that you're holding the tab. Then you have to wait the time for it to actually like close. And now it's just like you can just tab your way back out. You don't have to wait. Like, thank you. 
Um, I'm supposed to be able to, like... There we go. Yeah, this is... This is great, too. Like, holding items is way easier. And dropping... Like, holding and moving and items and stuff used to be awful. Like, I couldn't walk with an item because it wouldn't stay locked in place. Now I can just grab an item and take it where I want to. And drop it where I want to. I mean, that one's wobbly. That's... That's fun. <laughs> I wonder how long that'll work. Okay. Put the cutter away. Not interested. Whatever it is. Uh, another med pack. Yeah, I'll take a med pack. Yeah, I'll take a pistol and uh and some some ammo. Yeah, sure. All right, let's go talk to a people. I know that if you hold like a, a, one of these boxes back here and walk behind him, it pushes him and makes him walk faster. But I don't have time to go do all that. <laughs> he can walk. He can saunter. Barrett? Man. Talk to me. Been a long time. Ugh. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, Hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes Ooh. are a bit more sophisticated Pretty. now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. A new guy found it. Yeah, right. I found something. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazan. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed Not out after cool. the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went Don't call me cowboy. Mm, you could call it that. Wait, how would you know about that? Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. All right. A little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. It's my idea of a good time. Look, just hand over the credits. I just and don't know what I'm doing here. You ever again. I don't know if I'm in my universe or the future or what. I'm just kind of going the with the flow. I really thought I lost them. Lost them. Uh -oh. That's a crimson fleet! Pirates, keep your head down! Hold on. Nope. Uh, we gotta set up our favorites real quick. Alright, get ready for this. <laughs> Yo, dude, get out of my way! I need some help here! Ha <laughs> ha Oh my god, get out of my way. See? Man, screw this. Oh, because I'm crouching. Jesus, that's fine. Bye bye. I was like, man, why why is this not going so well? Well, one, because these fucking dickwads decided to blow my trap before I could. Before the pirates even got there, they're like, hey, let's explode this while they're still inside the ship, because that's apparently how things are these days. That cutter is a much better weapon than those guns.
Okay, we got him. We're just gonna take everything for now. We'll stow it in the ship and sell it later, because I need... Man, so many of my own guys died. That sucks. <laughs> just give me all the stuff. You okay, dude? Can't believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. Yeah, I can. I mean, who's the Crimson Fleet? Yeah, Lynn's a badass, yo. Lynn is probably my favorite non-Constellation follower. Well, Lynn's my favorite follower, period. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Sir, may I, may I speak with you? We're still in one piece. That was some fine work on the pressure. Fine. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Uh... What is Constellation, anyway? You ever stare up at the stars at night, wondering what's out there? Oh, that's brother. That's where we go. All the time. Uh, if you can tell me what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Heck yeah. All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. <sighs> How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, Yo, I I'm know, nobody's not Dusty. Anymore, Lynn. I'm my well, own Dusty. That rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger Stop things. Stop calling me Dusty. Thanks for everything, Just Lynn. Go. I don't even know you. I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Bosco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Okay. And I don't know where y'all are in this stream, but oh, the hey, YouTube studio this. that I'm watching, very out there. And I just the left the mining area, and I haven't even started hey, fighting pirates yet. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Uh... What exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. So you're giving me your shit. Technically, ship. it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Bosco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about the okay. vision you had. So whatever YouTube Studio is doing over here, it's about 15 minutes delayed, I guess. That's not 15 minutes, but it's a chunk. This needs to go a bit more in this direction. Because I'm trying to see myself in the camera on YouTube Studio, and that's just not working. Because it is so delayed. I think I need to do it like this. Okay. Oopsie. Return to game. Um, why send me? Shouldn't Come you go? On. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you don't been handling it since with no problem, the way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take, and you're part of it now. This feels like some Oma de Sala shit. And Vasco! Don't let him break my ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, you all right? Hey, uh, I don't know how you kept your cool back there. Okay, bye. Hmm. 
Alright, so on to the ship we go, and now you can see just how terrible I am at flying. Before we do that, let's make sure that we are on... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Very easy. <laughs> And a quick save. Captain Jackson, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. Okay, I so... Attempt to boost the ship, <laughs> just in case there are any difficulties. Vasco just called me Captain Jackson. But when I'm playing George Hammond, he calls him Captain George because he can't figure out how to say Hammond, I guess. And Janet Frazier doesn't get called anything except Captain. Because the game doesn't know how to say Janet. Like, what the hell? I get Frazier. That spelling on that can be different. Alright, what's in the cockpit? Er, like, huh. Captain Storage. Um, look at all those goodies. Alright. We're going to do some transfer. Inventory. Resources. Transfer item to container. Frontier. Inventory. Did it go? Oh, I guess it did. Okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna double check. Our inventory. Yeah, yeah, cool. Weapons. Cutter. What did I accidentally put in there? Okay. One cutter. Right, what's in the frontier? Oh, a rescue axe. No, give me that back. Well, give me one of them back. Inventory. Space suits. Packs. Helmets. I always have to remember which direction these things go. Alright, those are equipped. Alright, that's what I got equipped. Oh man, that's kind of rough. Oh boy. Transfer. Equip. Transfer. Okay, 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 okay. And quick save again. Oh, where's my little piece of paper? I had a small piece of paper folded just right to prevent me from hitting F9 while I was playing. Oh well. Alright, let's go do some space combat. Yo, I like the fast, <laughs> I like the sped up <laughs> animation, that's great. Is this also gonna double time? No, that's pretty standard. I think that particular one might be a legitimate cutscene and not just a, a loading screen, though. <laughs> Alright, Vasco. Now that 
that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Okay. Yo! What is up, Suzanne? Damn it, Janet. Nice one, fun. Damn it, fun! You gotta set a timer! Yeah, we're playing some Starfield tonight. Uh, hold left, alt, and use switch pieces. Okay, yeah. I don't want to hold left, alt. Okay, power up all the systems. But we can get rid of the grab drive and put the shield back up. Hello, hello. Adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Oh, not particularly. We will need to disable their shields. Laser based weaponry is particularly effective. Got him. We were figuring out facial scruff. Yes, that's correct. That was a long time ago. <laughs> you played like four hours forever buying games and getting distracted. Oh, yeah. I I bought a bunch of Steam games a while back. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to go loot this guy. Oh, snap. Where was he? Was he on the other side of the planet? Well done, fun. Boosty, boosty, boosty. Yeah. You did that on purpose, Vasco. Oh, come on. This is one thing I do hate about this game. I wish that there was a way to prevent me from being able to just stand up in the middle of combat. I do that all the time. If my fingers get off of the WASD keys by even just one, I accidentally stand up in the middle of combat. God, it is so annoying. Okay. Three times, or, uh, oh my goodness. People are chatting, and I'm not used to it on this new format over here. Uh, Sudoku channel you watch sometimes does live streams of other games. Today was Hex Cells. Nice, nice, nice. Fun likes her tea, ridiculous. Okay, that's creepy. No, where are we going? We want to be going toward the debris. The debris is the arrows. Okay, okay. I haven't played in so long. <laughs> that one first. And 
there are three games, and the third has a puzzle generator, so it's infinite. Nice. Nice. Okay, now we'll go get this one. I just want all my goodies! Okay. So now it wants me to use the uh, exit scanner. See, I have a scanner now. Uh, now it wants me to use the map to back out of here and go over here to Crete. Yes, yeah, set course to Crete. Nice. Oh, this. Oh man, this mod has sped so much of this stuff up that was really annoying before. Search lab. Okay. Land. Kind of like Minesweeper used hexagons instead of squares. Had enough logic that you were never forced to guess. Oh, that would be phenomenal. My least favorite part about Minesweeper was the freaking guessing. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I call it uh, Darjeeling. And that's my favorite kind of black tea, so I should probably learn the official pronunciation. Okay, Vasco, I guess you can come with me. Let's go. Ooh. All right, scan creatures. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't have a, a boost pack yet. working on leveling up my surveying also because he's got surveying as a base skill be careful captain alien creatures are often unpredictable oh yeah there's one just around this bend right i feel like something's gonna jump out and attack me any second i think i remember a jump scare oh here he is i accidentally went around him <laughs> this guy's supposed to be my jump scare It's okay. Make quick work of him with a, a laser cutter. Love it. Darzeeling. Dar dar Darzeeling. Okay. Thank you very much. Steep your Irish breakfast tea for eleven minutes, technically, but I usually forget. It varies. It was English breakfast or, or oh, okay, yeah, it does get way better. Mostly drink herbals. Yeah, I'm I'm a coffee drinker before 3 a.m. Like a sh... Darshiling? Is it three syllables? Darshiling? Darjeeling? I thought that's what I said the first time. I think I said Darjeeling. Darjeeling. Beige. Darjeeling. Z. Eh? Eh? Grazie. Ooh, thing to loot. Give me credits. Yeah, I like this. Extra information on the screen business. Curious. 
Is the emphasis on the second syllable? But we are in free star collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. God, it takes everything in my power not to just pick up everything. Vasco, in my way. Bucko. Darjling. Darjling? Darjling. Huh? Oh, that's why you were using beige as an example. Okay, I get it. The more you know. <laughs> all right, got all kinds of goodies to distract me from the primary mission, which is find things to loot that are profitable and then kill that guy. Aha, I remembered you. Vasco, Vasco, in my way, buddy. How? Sir! <laughs> oh my gosh, they've got little, I love it, little, little food steamy icons. Oh my goodness, this makes everything better. Red Rover come, okay. Daniel is an archaeologist. He is going to loot every book he finds, whether he's got the inventory space for it or not. We're also not going to read these on stream. Just know that these are, are cute little books. And that's a folder. So I don't need to take that. But Daniel is going to take every book he can find. There is a, a lady in Aquila who, at least everything but Charles Dickens, she wants one copy of. So we're going to oblige her. Why is there an impact driver in the fridge? Is that a fridge? Yeah, it says fridge. <laughs> Why is there an impact driver in the fridge? Nothing hiding back here. Okay. Succulent. Soil box. Book. My life. Chunk by chunk. Ugh. I really didn't want to pick that up, but for the role play. I will take some sealant. Thank you very much. I don't anticipate doing a lot of crafting on him, but I might make some like basic med stuff and sealant is one of the things that you need. All notebooks, all junk. Sample bottle, sample bottle. Ooh, ammo. Love to see it. Okay. Desktop paper tray. Notebooks. Yo, here we go. Credits. 193. Did you picks? Could listen to him read the- Yo, Spader's got a wonderful voice. And while I do prefer his Daniel, uh, if I'm doing all of the other characters that are from the series, I might as well keep my Daniel in line with everyone from the series. So, that's, that's how I'm playing it. But yeah, I, I do believe Spader is the superior Daniel Jackson. No doubt about it. Now, that's not to say Michael Shanks did a bad job. I mean, he did he did quite well with what he was given. And uh, you know, no one should have to follow that act, basically. He, he was set up for failure from the beginning. Thanks, Spader, for being so damn good. These all notebooks, all notebooks. Okay, and a dead scientist with 300 credits. 500 credits in a box. 
Yes! Alright. Man, I thought this was going to be a lot harder game to play and stream, but there's just so much to randomly talk about while running around in here. Vasco, I swear, dude. As soon as I can ditch you as a companion, you are out of here. Let's, uh, let's go trigger some piratey action. Alright, I never use this amp stuff, so I'm just gonna use one. Snack bites! I thought I was supposed to be able to eat it. Oh, I can only consume it when I'm not in. We're just gonna stay in cutter mode. If I get too close to the doors, they'll just barge in and ruin my gallivanting. Uh, I will take the water, because sometimes people need water on planets and things. So I try to keep some drink packs of water. Terrible espresso. Ooh. Let's uh, drink somebody else's old coffee, shall we? All right, all right. Okay, there's the box on the other side. Alright, get spice worms, cause I loot and take all the things. Man, only 61 credits, that's kinda lame. Is that whiskey? Oh, it's beer. Uh, I like the damage resistance better. I will consume that. Ooh. I have many regrets right now. Alright. Are you freaking kidding me? box of drink pack water. Yes, we do take drink pack waters. Again, to a point. I usually try to keep about five of them in my inventory because I never know when I'm going to find a settler that's like, oh my god, we're stranded on this planet and we don't have any water. And I'm like, here, would you like some water? Try the water. Alright, just a bunch of shit. I swear one of these tables had credits or something on it. Or just a bunch of succulents, you know. Lots of succulents. Maybe it was in here. Nope, this is the restroom. There is a box of milk on the floor. In the toilet. Which, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, pick up a book. Somebody was making notes. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. And... Uh, yeah, I'll take those antibiotics. Questionable, but that's where we're at tonight. Meds hit hard. Good night. I'm pretty sure this is Alina. Let's 
So good night, Alina. Wait, did I run past something good? Loot all the things. Do not engage. Right, what we got? Oh, that's a desktop sand garden. Look at that. One more time. Look at that. Uh, I wish I could pick up the fork and just play with it. Oopsie, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm supposed to be able to... Oh, no. Now I don't remember how to pick things up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Uh, this, maybe? Oh, I can't do that. I gotta figure out how that all works. I've been reading up on how to, like, pick things up and put them down in terms of, like, decorating, and it sounds very complicated. I'm looting my stuff. Ooh, can I use a terminal? Yo, I can use the terminal. Whoa! I've read all these before. Now I remember where I read them. Cool, cool. We're not gonna go through all that again. I'm gonna click them all. Just in case doing this unlocks the ability for me to find something else in the game somewhere. But I have read those before. Alright. Nice little gem. Not sure why there's playing cards in the gem. That's kind of weird. Not because it's not a gem. I don't need a board game, thanks. Oh, hell yeah, I'll take one of those. Alright. Now, whoopsie. Okay. Yeah, nothing to see here, folks. I want a desktop sphere toy. Did you pick? Potato! Oil and mesh, I'm sticking in a stew. Alright, I'm gonna open that lock in just a minute. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and take the lab outfit. I'll keep it in the research trunk. What is this? Shielded lab outfit, okay. Is that another battle pack? Yeah, it is. Or battle meal multi pack. Alright, let's do a lockpick. Quick save. Alright, let's do a lockpick. Alright, so. supposed to give me fake ones at novice level. I'm supposed to use all of them. Alright, so that lines up, which means this one's supposed to line up. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, let's start. What did we get? A med pack. And a shitty ass zero wire. 
These are heavy. I'm not taking it with me. That was a lame freaking chest that I wasted a digi pick on. Kind of tempted to take the Newton's Cradle with me. Because <laughs> those things are so fun. I can put it in his little office. Okay, okay. I'll find another one sometime when my bags aren't going to be absolutely full. Oh, I also need to go through... What is this? Blender Base. Chunks of Choco. Vial. Vial. Holder. And Alien Bug Paperweight. Nope. Raisin Bran Cereal. Synthophone containers, notebooks, yo, ammo. What is this, another antibiotic? That was bandages. Even better. No, I don't need to take measure. What we got here? Eons, paperweights, Grendel. Okay. Grendels are kind of worthless, but every now and then you'll get one that's got a good affix on it. So. Speaking of, okay, we never actually look through all of our stuff after we loot it, so let's go have a peeky-boo. See what kind of cool new weapons we got. Maelstrom. Yeah, let's add that to favorites. Over here. Ranged. Uh... Hundred and forty one rounds on that. I mean I guess that's a decent uh just shoot things in the face with it. Of course the rescue axe will equip two. Where do we equip that? Nine works for me. Alright, did we get new spacesuits? No. Nope. Nothing that, nothing there. My lab outfit if I decide to do some researching. I don't want the difference really though. It just changes. Okay. Eh. I'll sell one of them. Okie dokie. And we're off. Woo. And I've decided I'm going to do my cooking in the morning after Mrs. Bratt leaves for work. Because she really hates the smell of fish when she wakes up, so... That means I can just play for hours. I mean, the longer I play, the longer the video is going to be that I have to deal with for editing later. Somebody's trying to scope me. Man, they're just standing right there. Uh, oh, hell, the Grendel will reach. Dude, get off me. In combat, Barrett often yells pew pew pew. chocolate, and some spice worms, and not a potato. I need one of those. Alright. Yeah, 
I see all their lasers. No, they're still there. They're still there. Uh, gotta get our grenades set up. Throwables, frag grenade, and where's my equipment? Lol, did he just blow himself up? That's hilarious. I'm about to be out of ammo. Peace is no longer a viable option. Peace was never a viable option. Fire on yourself. Oh man, screw this. Exterior damaged. Keep thinking the vast avoid is a bad getting guy. shot. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I set this on very easy. I should not be able to die on very easy. And I don't remember the last time I saved. Wow, this is the last time I saved was before I unlocked the safe. Ugh. Better loot this time? Nope, still just a med pack and some bullshit zero wire. Okay, well, we're gonna quick save. I'll do that again. And now we get to go through the process of looting all this shit all over again. Oh my god. The whole thing, everything. Nope, don't want the tape measure. Miscellaneous. And tape measure. Oh my god, the worst. 
The worst, the worst. Uh, empty chunks packaging. Chunks cake. There's the cake that should be in the chunks packaging. Well, here's what we're going to do this time. No. Nope. Uh, we never even did that. Man. Gotta set this shit up all over again. Maelstrom. Set favorites. Four. Grendel. Set favorites. Five. Rescue Axe. Set favorites. Nine. They didn't hurt me first. The enemy has vacated this location. Yeah, I'll take the hazmat suit. I am picking up faint signs of one in the area. I know where they're hiding. I was just trying to play it stealthy, like Daniel actually would, because he kind of sucks at this stuff. Requires so much bloodshed. Whoopsie. Uh, I accidentally hit windows. Oh my god, let me out of here. God damn it, Vasco! You're in my line of sight. Oh god, Vasco, you almost got shot, my dude. Okay, so now we get to quick save. Clear. <laughs> and time to be a loot whore. La 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 la. Nothing. Nothing at all in the fridge. Lame. Okay. Lots of notebooks. Lots of notebooks. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Scientist has. No, I'm not gonna leave that. Waste of space. Sample bottles. What is this thing? These are giant eggs. That that doesn't bode well. Oh. Oh. Shit. I'll get out of there. What the hell did I jump in? It just looked like water. Yoikes. Ouchie wawa. Another dead scientist. Nothing. 
nothing to loot, nothing to steal. Canuck Double Double Canuck Brand Coffee sold in their distinct and trademarked can. Oh, well, I think we have to pick this up and have a looky-loo. Oh, look at that fun. What do you think? Does it uh does it meet the Canadian seal of approval? Oh, I'm out of coffee. Rip. It's like canned coffee product. Wow, this makes me want to take another sip of coffee. Oh, and there is none. One of many Canuck products. I know there is Canuck poutine, Canuck bacon. <laughs> Synth meat, or synth meat, synth meat hamburger, synth meat chicken. It's one hundred percent fresh lab made. So this is. Oof. All right, and a dead guy right there. We'll take some chunks of cake. And a dead guy right there. We'll take a pizza square. Sure, why not? Damn it, Vasco. You're always in my way. Alright, put this dude out of his misery. Notebook. Molecule extractor, oh boy. Kill paste. Ooh, weapon case. What's in here? Oh. Eh. A weapon. What's this? I'm gonna use this computer. Project Pet Shop? Okay, I definitely never read this one before. Xeno Warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. Uh oh. Forget what the calendar says. This is 1942 all over again. We may as well be the Manhattan Project. Wow. Arthropods, calm, easy to work with. Cool, cool. The arthropods are everything we hoped for. Alrighty. Alright. Skimmed that. Med pack, thank you very much. Back here. No. Alright, and up we go. Another med pack. Another digi pick. There's just junk everywhere. What part of that cleanup sign did y'all not understand? Frickin' pirates, man. Scummy, scuzzy lot they are. Daniel's kinda glad that uh, all he has to worry about are the, the Goa'uul. Because they certainly don't tend to cause as big of a mess as scummy space pirates do. Succulent. Do we have any books? No, I just have books. Alright, let's go see what this guy dropped. Definitely a gun. I think last time I was here I stole a microscope so I could put it in Janet's room. Maybe Daniel will learn to cook. He does have gastronomy, so... Maybe we can just focus on that and kind of leave the rest. Oh, cool! I want to stick my hands in the gloves and play with the thing. Yo. Looks kind of like a gold.
whoever this is, they have been um, experimenting on the golds. That is the role play here, and Daniel's Daniel's okay with it, <laughs> given the shit that he's gone through. Daniel's okay with it. Ooh, I do like me an Equinox. The laser rifles are pretty nice. All right, Daniel uh, has uh, scoped out the gold lab or experimentation lab. Man, this is gnarly. I never actually stopped to take the time and look and see what was in here. Okay. And we're walking. If you've seen Stargate, you get that quote. If not, well, it still mostly makes sense, so it's fine. All right, more dead scientists. Milk. Cool. Glad I didn't miss out on the milk. Did you fix? Nope. Files. Rip. What's that? Aluminum. I don't think I need to take aluminum. I will take the fiber. I will take the antimicrobials and the analgesic. And the sealant. You can keep the aluminum. It's a little heavy and I can get some later. Oh, another dead scientist. Yo, he had 500 some macaroos. This is what I like to see. All right, so we do another quick save now that we've completely looted the place. <laughs> oh my goodness. How come you can see me, but I can't see you? As if squatting is going to make a difference. That'll do. Got one! Man, why would you stand beside a barrel of explosives, my dude? Yeah, you too. You were also beside that barrel, so... I do not feel pain, but I hear it is terrible. Uh, where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? Yeah, go do your job, Mr. Roboto. Kidney dish. Oh boy. Man, these vials look like digipics and it throws me off every time. Can I open those? Nope. Uh, dude, the enemy's definitely gonna return. We're not dead yet. See, he's already back. Let's go move. Alright, uh, oh, another dead scientist. Yo, 300 credits. dead guy up top somewhere for me. Oh, look, another dead scientist. I mean, darn, these poor people. What a shame. Fire extinguisher. I wonder if I can pick up a fire extinguisher and wield it as a freaking 
blunt weapon. That would be fantastic. But I doubt it. What are these? More vials. I think those are the same vials. Alright, let's go see what's in here. Oh! Exit. Okay, so we're doing a quick save. Actually, I'm also going to go ahead and eat some of the things that are in my inventory. Like that double-double! Not celery. I'll take the cake and the choco worms. More worms. Pizza squares, things like that. Gosh, I love that this keeps all of my fancy stuff up top and my food at the bottom. God, this is amazing. And these tiny, tiny lines instead of an entire, like, big line for every single item. Oh my god, this makes the game so much better. Okay, so let's unlock this. There we go. There we go. And last but not least. Boom. Back out of here. Start. Alright, let me in. Was it worth a digi-pick? I'm doing something in here. And a molecule extractor. Desktop soil bowl. Unpredictable. Variable SRQ synaptic response quotient. Unpredictable. Okay. Unpredictable. Ooh, a terminal. Hayden Wins Project Manual. How have I never done this before? Have I? Okay. So they wanted to make the Stalkers. Number of successful missions. The Stalkers are the weapons we hope for. Okay. Project Pet Shop Phase 2 will now commence. Alright. Stopped work on Stalkers. There's enough. Focus is page 2. Heat Leeches. Okay, that's like one of those little dudes that I killed when I first walked in that was hiding in the fridge. They're attached... Attracted to heat, feed off endothermic process. Um, let's see. Reverse the or even better, reverse the process so they transfer their heat to a ship. Ooh, to overheat the ships of your enemies. That's that's an interesting concept, certainly. Is there anything in here worth expending a frickin' digi-pick on, other than lore? Okay, here we go. 200 credits. Frag grenades. Frag mines. Another safe, which means I get to expend another digi-pick. Quick save. Followed by another... Alright, I'll do that one first. So we need to we need to put in a talent point. And I printed out aha. I printed out doohickeys for everybody. Alright, so these are my talent points, order of operations, basically. Um, up to level 60. So, Daniel's main focus, he needs to get some weightlifting in him, but I think I might want to jump ahead to persuasion because I know I have a persuasion check coming up, and I would rather... Those are few and far between, so I would rather get started on leveling that sooner rather than later. So I think that's going to be the way I go, is I just jump ahead to persuasion, then... Back to weightlifting. Boom. Yes. 
And if I need to go bust out some levels, I'll just go look for ruins on a few Earth or uh, solar our solar system planets, and let him be like, "Oh, I finally made it back to Earth." Here we go. So we have one talent point. And again, I think the way to go is persuasion. Go ahead and get that in there. I hate that I'm going off script immediately. But that's the way it's going to have to be. Because he's not a fighter. He's a lover, not a fighter. And uh, he's going to try to talk his way out of everything that he possibly can. So. What do we got here? Notebooks, not real books. Okay. Here's one of my dead guys. I've done better this time, though. I'm not already out of ammo, and that's... Or not ammo. I'm not already out of storage space, and that's good. Gosh, have I ever been back here? Yo! Those are some scratch marks. This is... Give me some, like, very Jurassic Park raptor kind of vibes. Empty coffee bag. More dead scientists. Med pack. Two digipics. Wait a second. That is... So this is Hayden Wynn. We were just reading his terminal about the phase two. And if we read this terminal, it talks about how phase two, everything went to absolute shit and the terramorph got away. But what's a Terramorph? Something we should not be fighting at level 2. Also something I learned the hard way. <laughs> hey, take a helmet. Take a helmet, leave a helmet. Ugh, I gotta unlock the ammo case, are you kidding me? Well, I might need it, so save it is. Oh. And a three for That's not right. Get those two. Oh, I need those three. Okay. Maybe it was supposed to be that one. And that's the inside. That's the outside. So then... There we go. Now we're getting there. Okay. Okay, okay. Yo, I looted my 25 containers. Now I can level up scavenging. Which I won't be doing until level 13 or 12. That's okay. There are always more things to scavenge. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks a disregard for personal property rights. I definitely have a disregard for personal rights. Um, I 
want to take one copper. I get copper easy enough. Ooh, state. I will take the state. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> that's, uh... That's a thing. Alright. Let's hit safe. Oh man. Okay, that's the only one that'll fit there. And that fits there. And that fits there. And that fits there. Alright, let's go. Start. Yep. Boom, what did we get? 900 credits, yes! Okay, that was totally worth it. Totally worth it. Alright. Let's check out our new contingent of weapons. We've got a modified solstice. Alright, DPS on this bad boy is the same. Mass is more. It's worth more. What's different about it? Okay, accuracy is higher. Okay, so let's equip this as our second shooty shooty pow pow one hander. And then we've got ourselves an equinox that we can equip as our laser rifle. Okay. Oh my gosh. And it tells you where your favorites are set. Oh! Star UI. Whoever made this. You. Mm. Mwah. You are all the best. Alright. Pirate Assault Spacesuit. Maybe I just sell it? <laughs> I think I just sell it. Mining pack. I totally picked up a helmet. Excuse you? Snoots, are you okay? Hi. Hello, Miss Tesla. Hello, Miss Tesla. So I gotta figure out if I can do custom emotes on YouTube, things like that. I would love to get the Tesla emote up over here. Alright. So we're gonna do another quick save. Because why not? Spam the f out of the save button, huh? All right, let's uh, let's go up to the roof, up on the roof, roof. Oh, sweet puppers, get back down. Shoot, let's pour some whiskey since we're out of coffee. Give me a second. Trying to decide between bourbon and scotch. Well, it's like a rye scotch blend. It's really good. I've actually been drinking it. I say a lot. I've been drinking it a lot. Every time I've had something, I've kind of aimed for that. We're going to go with bourbon. A little, a little snoot of bourbon. really nice balanced bourbon. It does a lot more than the vanilla or the oak. So many bourbons get trapped in the, in the too strong of a barrel flavor. Those tannins. Which are great in wine. I don't particularly care for them that much in whiskey. Ooh! Why did it have to be a freaking... Ugh. So the weapon that can spawn in this is different every time. I kind of just want to reload and see if I can get not a freaking melee weapon. <laughs> Ugh. 
<clears throat> I would prefer to not have him be in melee combat. So F9 is... We're just going to quick reload the last save. Alright, we're going to see if we can get a better weapon. <laughs> I will hack the shit out of this game if it means it's fun. Okay. Upsy daisy. Yeah, because my very first character, when I played Janet, she went through and she got a legendary rifle out of that. <laughs> I was like, what? It was so cool. Ugh. It may be per game. I mean, I get a choice. I'm not going to do it again. <clears throat> there are some thing containers that when you open them, you get something different, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think that's how this is going to go. We're going to get that laser rifle out. We're actually going to put it away. Because we are going to attempt... To persuade this guy. Oops, wrong button. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. The frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? I'm with Constellation, oh, stop attacking. No. You see. Maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, oh. and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has God been to it, many Master. planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of and I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. I mean, there's I'm also some like ship. random metal ores. You can have those if you want to, dude. No treasure. Cut your losses. You're not talking us out of this score. Okay. Have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. They aren't? You sure? If you want to trade ships, that sounds good. Yeah. I'm not falling what? for that. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. Uh, that's that's not how it happened last time I went with those choices. I thought I knew which choices to to do to make it work. <laughs> Is starting to cost more than I'd like. Got it. I can't believe it. <laughs> there isn't any treasure. We've been no. That old constellation ship there isn't any nothing. treasure. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We Can I also just kill them? Free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. I'm still gonna look around and take what I can take. The last time I did this, I just left. I was like, oof. And then the next time I did this, I got popped into combat, and then I actually stopped and explored the whole place. What's this? Yo, I didn't explore this last time. Yo, credits! I, I, I don't know how many times I've done this, and I just found something new. Oh my gosh. This game is amazing. Starfield, good. Starfield, good. Yo, I cannot wait to get this video out. So, I, I didn't have it done in time for, for it to go out before the stream, but I'm going to get the thumbnail made tonight. And then, uh get it out probably 
like by five or six in the morning. I don't know. It de depends on how late I play. If I walk down there, am I going to piss them off? Or are they just going to ignore me? I mean, if they start shooting, I'll kill them. <laughs> if I have to. What we got? A uh, humidifier for all of your sinus needs. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Portable desk fan. Very nice. Oh, look at that. I just ran right past them. Uh, yeah, I think I'll take that helium. Thank you very much. Damn, that Vasco go away. Take that helium. Yeah, I could just throw a grenade over there and start some shit. No, that's not what Daniel would do. <laughs> That's what the murder hobo Zane would do. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to be writing down the times that cool things happen, and I totally forgot to do that. Oh my goodness. So, 2 hour 14. Zane the murder hobo. God, this music. It just hits right. Alright, let's see if there's anything up here I can loot. I've also never jumped down onto all these side areas, so this is new. How did I never think to do this? My gosh. I'm a horrible loot whore. Terrible. Gosh, I've never been over here either. Oh my goodness. There's just so much stuff, it's never ending. Granted, I don't think any of this is useful. Okay, we're gonna go up here because I know that there's some piratey stuff up here, and if they're gonna leave me alone, I may as well go check and see what they're up to. Because I know there's a building over here. something over here. Is it a building? Probably not. Um, I'm supposed to be able to scan that, friend. Why can I not scan the root? That's one of the items on this planet. Okay, because if you end up engaging the pirates, there's pirates over here that shoot at you too. So, I guess that's just not happening. That's fine. I could fast travel for the ship. That's what it wants me to do. Um, I guess I should finish the tutorial. Uh, there we go. Return to the ship. Uh, yes. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do what the game tells us to do. Captain Jackson, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison. Alpha Centauri system. Land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Oh, fast travel from the missions. Yeah, that is something that we can do. Uh, ooh, show on map. To Alpha Centauri. All right, we're doing the grab jump. I think I put points back into the grab jump. I did, okay. 
Welcome to Alpha Centauri. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Fantastic. Well, let's go then. All right, more cutscenes. Daniel is just like, what is going on? is happening God this game is so pretty so pretty uh, we're gonna get up because there's some things that I want to take out of ye old locker here. Sources, fibers, take all, take all. Mm, first, take all resources. It would be advisable to leave some things behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frontier transport. Okay. Moments. Peril. Yeah, if I do, doesn't need to wear either of those. Okay, you can leave the ship parts. All right. What is my mass? Oh, one of my things isn't loading correctly. Oh, neither of those things are loading. Huh. Interesting. You know, it may not be showing because I'm still on my ship. Let me exit the ship. And see if it shows up correctly. Yes, yes it does. Mass, 263 of 135. Yo, Vasco. Captain, Constellation yeah. will be waiting for you at the lodge. Why is the Crimson I Fleet after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times, and about okay. various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. Okay. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. I mean... Uh... Daniel's done that plenty. So I guess I understand. Me too. Uh, let's try here. I am ready to commence a trade. Why do you need that many? So, if you give the NPCs one single piece of ammunition, they will shoot forever. They get infinite ammo. You only need to give them one. So, let's make sure that he's got his one. Because I'm still trying to figure out how the menu shows things. Okay, he has one single cartridge, which means I have all the rest. Okay, thank you, Vasco. Bye-bye. And now we gotta do this cutscene. Yo, what's up? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory is uncanny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, tell me about my ship. Hey, new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Cool, cool. 
Um, that's it. Everything Thank you. Looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Have a nice day, sir. I just gotta. I can assure you this unsprint. I ran out of O2. I will not take damage. Oh, you do take damage. Oh, they changed the game. Yo, you didn't. Oh, well, maybe you take damage, but you can't die. Let's test it. Oopsie. Let's test it. Okay, so we're going to run ourselves out of oxygen. We're going to continue to run in circles. While our health diminishes, um, wait, first we're going to quick save just in case. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. And we're going to test, because last I saw your health could go down to like almost nothing. Yeah, so I installed a health mod that should be loading yellow and orange on the health bar instead of just flipping to red. So that's, that's not loading correctly. So I may just delete that one. Okay, there we go. There we go. You cannot die. You cannot die running encumbered. Look at that. Health has plateaued at like 10%. Cannot die running encumbered. Now, if something's shooting at you while you're doing this, you can die. <laughs> but there we go. So we'll just uh, run to the tram, ride the tram, sell the weapons and junk that we don't need, uh, be less encumbered, get the constellation. We're going to go to commercial. We're going to sell some stuff first. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to... Now that bourbon is really good, but it doesn't have any finish to it. Well, not any. It it just has a a short finish. It doesn't it doesn't linger on your palate. So you just want to keep wow. drinking more. Okay, let's go in here and sell some clothes. You're only as safe as your Welcome to Outland. Okay. We deal in only the finest, most reliable gear for whatever adventures may await you. All of our products come highly recommended by individuals who have devoted their lives to distant travel. And while I've never needed them myself, I stand by everything we offer. So most of the vendors, they actually have an initial um, talkie talk dialogue option that is not optional. But then when you go back to them in the future, after your initial dialogue with the vendors, you can just go straight into sell things or buy sell mode. So you just fly out there buck naked, I'm impressed. Uh, that's not very As reassuring. I, said, I wouldn't sell anything that hasn't been recommended by frequent travelers. And of course, if they're frequent, that means their equipment is working. Yeah. Like to see what you have for sale. Yes, by all means, have a look. And then we're going to sell things. I don't know if that's an O or a zero. Oh my gosh, I can sell from my ship inventory now! This is a game changer! Modders! Oh my gosh! This is these are the things the game should have had. These are the options menu options the game should have had the modder should not have had to do this so i definitely shame on you bethesda for not giving us at least some of these basic um basic things okay 700 so weapons uh, solstice versus modified solstice um Well, I'm using the modified, so I'll sell this one. Two maelstroms, they're identical. That one's not in use. Um, I have four. No. Yeah, I have four of these. So sell, sell, sell. I would like to sell seven of these. 
I would like to sell two of those. I would like to sell six of these. Oh, this is so much easier. Oh my gosh. Wow. So much easier. Holy crap. Pirate Assault Space Helmet. I just, I don't... I mean, the pirate stuff looks cool if you have the entire set. Otherwise, it looks kind of janky. Alright, so we're going to keep... Okay, get rid of the minor utility outfit. Get rid of the urban operator. Let's see. 5% chance of sudden developments for either of them. Uh, since I'm working with food, I guess I'll keep the shielded one. And hazmat suit is just funny to have. <laughs> I should probably get rid of it. I've literally never used one. Alright, okay, what can I sell? Amp. Yeah, I never use those. Daniel's not the kind to use that kind of stuff anyway. He's he's not going to use performance enhancing drugs. Oh my gosh, my inventory is going to be so much easier to keep up with if I actually stick to the role play. I need to do that on everybody, frankly. Vala, all bets are off. She'll use anything. She's been caught with contraband before. I mean, she'll she'll do whatever the highest bidder is paying her. Okay here, and resources, and these I can just shove in a bin later. Yes, actually. Yeah, I'll just shove those in a thing. Be careful out there. Alrighty. I, I, whoops, I will, friend. Yeah, I, I really, I really like a lot of the choices they made in this game, and... I question a fair amount of the choices they made in this game. Okay. Oh, I guess my health is going to keep beeping as long as I do that, so I'll need to eat something. Oh, I don't think I have anything I can eat. I'll just use it. It's okay. Check. Rifle. Already stowed. You don't need to wear your helmet on this planet. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't need to wear my helmet on. This is supposed to be hiding everything. Hide helmet in breathable areas. Hide spacesuit in settlements. Okay. There we go. Daniel's got his nice little jumpsuit going on. Whee! I have no idea what to get him. I want a mast to wear. I, I, have, I mean, I've seen most of the clothing options in this game, and nothing screams Daniel Jackson. I'll see if I can get him the generic blue jumpsuit. Because that'll at least look like his um, his fatigues from or from Stargate when he's wandering around the base. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Okay, and he's definitely gonna do this side quest. We're gonna go see this guy because he likes to help people, right? He's a humanitarian. I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Is something wrong? Yes. Concerned is an understatement. 
I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you Maybe. understand its importance? No, absolutely not. Dude, but I'm not familiar with this particular century. I just got here. Gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? I suppose I just looked helpful. I'd love to help. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. <laughs> ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough. I thought I just saw a cat. Time to collect and, and then I looked down, the expecting him to like be if wanting up in my lap, and they're both asleep time. on the on the bed. Oh. Okay. All right, we'll get around to the biosensors when we are unencumbered, friend. For now, we're going to continue on our merry way. We may be in a United Colonies city, but constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. Did I just accidentally find a biosensor instead? Whoops, I went to the wrong spot. That's okay. It is foolish to carry so many items on your own. Vasco, I know. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us oh, cool. inside. So if you have the watch that came with the collector's edition and you link it to your account where the game is hosted, then it syncs to your watch and you can hit the panel to view Captain this Jackson. Everyone little, uh, the, the little circle on, oh, you here, can't see it, my camera's covering it. Hold on. Hold on. So. Now, and he hopes you'll make this, place this little circle at the bottom where my camera was that will sync to your watch and you can see that and see your um location and gravity and and all those things on your watch which is a, a little kitschy fun thing that goes with the game but i was not willing to pay 300 dollars for not a sure bet so I also appreciate that all I have to do now is be in the menu, any sort of menu option, and then I can move my mouse to a different screen. Um, otherwise, you're kind of locked into the game and you can't move your mouse away from this. Okay. Uh, butts, I can't go down there yet. Okay. All right, let's progress the story. We appear to have a visitor. Oh, I didn't make Welcome it back out in time. We have a lot to talk about. I was hoping that I could pull off the trick where you step inside just far enough and then turn around so that you can go do other things while they're doing all their talky-talky. Um, pirates attack? Barrett asked you to deliver the artifact. I mean, that's literally... Well, why don't you start by telling me what Constellation is? Hmm. Very well. That's something Daniel would say. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking I wish which, the teeth oh yeah, weren't as shadowed as they are, because normal people, when you're talking to them, their teeth are not in that kind of a shadow. And so it just makes it look like she's wearing braces, and it's really weird to me. I wish they would fix that. Pirates attacked. Baron asked me to deliver the artifact. Vasco, That's Baron. where we're at. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Garrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee See, of that. His top teeth look okay, but his bottom teeth have this weird layer of shadow on them. 
And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here. Who are you calling a rock breaker? Thank you, Mateo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Bright lights Similar and music. to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Whether it happened or not, wasn't in doubt. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate? Boop, 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 boop. Grab this one here. All right, so it's just like Skyrim, where you get little. Uh, boosts to stats and things when you collect books here it's little magazines so i will take that and reduce my fall damage thank you now if you add this new one to the two we already have the artifact if you could place it on the table here that's okay just like Two of them at first. Right? Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's our It's them, very no pretty. Material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This it's cool. so pretty. You have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. I like her. She's my Noelle's my favorite, and I'm so sad. She's like built by an intelligence. You've got the black chick, Noelle, and Mateo is wearing the funky hat. And Walter over here is our businessman, a financier. And they're all members of Constellation, but you can't romance them because they're not they're not followers that like go with you and do stuff. And I'm like, I was so looking forward to romancing the black chick. And they're like, oh, by the way, you can only romance these four. And I'm like, God, no. It sucks. Just gonna play a little. Oh, you haven't even been on WoW tonight? Holy crap. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. Do you mind if I make you a moderator here so that if you're around and shenanigans happen, you can poke buttons and see what happens? <laughs> I've got it set up where a bunch of words are not allowed and there's a 10 second delay between comments so people can't come in and just spam stuff and nobody can post links. At least until I figure out how to moderate YouTube, I've got some, some basic structure in place to minimize the amount of effort that I have to do in moderating. Uh, is there something wrong? Uh, can you give me a second? Yeah, I have no idea either, fun. We'll, we'll learn together. You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars. <laughs> Sorry, fun. <laughs> stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, into the unknown. Sorry. Judgment, just like the rest of us. All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifacts to us. Yeah, I figured spammers might be the willing to wait credits. three to five seconds, but maybe not ten seconds. With some boost <laughs> hmm? you'll need Into the unknown. Just mind your head. Ding! <laughs> I'm gonna try to get to level five tonight, so we'll we'll see where things go. Uh, sure. We'll talk to Noelle about quarters. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Oh yeah yeah yeah, he's cool too. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming. Her hair looks like it's a whole different it. layer from her face. There's a bunch of like character really changes messy. coming. 
I'm don't you, you dare you? go to bed. What are you doing? <sighs> How long have you been working on all well, this? Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts okay. recently. Okay, only two. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Other types of exploration work of besides course, the artifacts. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on. And everything we learn <laughs> about them is valuable. Mistakes we were made. Where we post anything Fair. specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna. Or a planet with a specific quality. Like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Okay, that sounds cool. Check out the mission board. I can Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. I like very abbreviated tours. Or not. Stay safe, okay? Oh, wait, I think I have to talk to everybody else before I can go on a tour with her. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. An it's explorer, really good to have you like with me. us. What brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. Uh-oh. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common and I was invited to join Constellation. Cool. You and the second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery I can in totally human history that. collecting dust? I can totally imagine yourself. that. All right, Walter. Lately, I find myself spending more and more time here. Business has appealed to me, but this is exciting. Sit, Daniel. Sit. Can I use this? It's Bet it's a two-person sofa. Something like this. Oh, and now he's in the chair. I just I want it. I'll crouch down and talk to you. Curious feeling. No, oh, I can't. Seen something that no one else I can't does. crouch. <laughs> that you know something no one else oh, does. Come on. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I am sorry I besmirched your chosen profession and made assumptions about your character. That was an apology. You can do better. My more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Look, there's a lot of shenanigans in this game. Especially since it would seem he made the right <laughs> call this time. There's shenanigans so, in my upcoming let's video. Start over. Shall we? Yes, let's Walter start Stroud, over, Walter. CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and <clears throat> off time grumpy old man. I can get behind grumpy old man. Thank you. Glad to be here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use the of the tools we have to build... Is basically. 
a gigantic research station. <laughs> Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. That's fair. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. Damn, wouldn't that be nice? For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance. Oh, and I gotta so get all my Starfield stickers I on the water bottle. I call Lodge home as much as anywhere else. All right, sounds so good, my man. Ask if you've got ha, questions. Ha, sofa's mine now. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Just don't mind me, just enjoying the fire. Oops. Okay. That's enough. Let's quick save. We did all the talkie talkie. Sorry. You said mistakes were made a lot longer than 10 seconds ago. Do I have the key? I have the key. Alright, let's go drop all our shit off. All right, so in here, okay, we're going to take that. This is an unlimited storage crate. So what we're going to do is hit resources. We are going to transfer all items into, oh, beautiful. We are also going to transfer the resource requiring fewer in there and our research outfit. Okay, and now we are 56 of 135 mass. This makes me happy. All right, so now we're going to, because I totally forgot, to Totally forgot to uh, go craft something. All right, so Daniel's mainly doing like maybe a little bit of first aid crafting, a bunch of cooking, that kind of stuff. He's a he's a gastro wizard guy, I guess. I have absolutely nothing that lets me cook. That's cool. I need to go kill more things. Can I craft a med pack? Um, oh man, I fall and break legs all the time. Let's make one of those. I made a craft. Okay. Congrats. You did the thing. Oh, I think I did it in the wrong order. I'm supposed to research and then craft. Food and drink. Uh... I can't craft any of these. What in the world? I'm not planning on crafting much of anything for those things. He's not a weapons and tech guy. Uh, okay, so we'll just put all that back in there until we buy things from... Search box, transfer items to inventory. So let's go to inventory. Aid. Right, these are things... Oh, I should just eat. Um, cool. Yeah. Transfer items in container. Okay, cool. We're good. You? What's this? Take. Oh, there's other things back here. I'm supposed to talk to the mission board. Maybe I'll find a planet that I can go to. Locate boiled seas. Okay survey this guy and maybe we can find some ruins while we're there. Look 
Okay, global glacial recession in Vega. Sure. Crystalline crust in Cassiopeia. And boiled seas. Alright, we'll just take them all. We're, we're an adventurer. We're looking for a way home. So we're gonna hit up all the planets. Okay, this is... Oh my gosh. Look at this plushie. Look at this plushie! It's a cat with four eyes and tentacles. Eee! Don't use Consecrate after the fight. That is an adorable plushie. Alright, there is... Two dates for Darla. Okay. Oh my god, another plushie. A cuddle -a -sor. I need this in my life. Yo, I'm gonna buy a Galactic Cat, though. As soon as I find one of those, I'll show you. I'm gonna buy one. I totally just stole those credits. Uh, I'm also taking the sealants. Bye bye. I don't know who needed those, but uh oh, run away, man! That was an accident. Uh, I really wish I hadn't done that. That's the kids' room. I just blew up the kids' room. Can we like retcon that and go back to that last quick save? Maybe. I feel like I should retcon that. Let's retcon that. That never happened. I would be very sad if those missions are not there, though. Very sad. Okay. Seeing how you're doing. At present, all systems are functioning well within okay. established parameters. Here's what we're gonna do. Hit the mission board. Oh good, they're all the same. Okay. I'm gonna go back and take the credits and the sealant. I know who all this belongs to. She won't mind. She can keep the snack crackers. I don't need snack crackers. We're good. Those plushies are freaking... Every plushie I find, I am gifting to this child. And every book that the other lady doesn't want is also going to that child. Because that's just what Daniel do. Bala tried to shoot the child. It didn't work. She's very annoying. Whoops. Where am I? Here we are. Yo! Master. Oh, this is the one that people used to be able to, uh... If you, if you hit the edge just right, you could actually, like, glitch through the door and get to the suit at the right there that's where it was at the very beginning of the game they hadn't their polygons didn't line up just right and you could you could get into this without actually unlocking it rip ah it's a door oh we don't want to go there i forgot there's an entrance here Yes, yes, I know, running well encumbered, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I couldn't research anything. Right, um... Okay, activities. Complete a research project, that's what it is. Craft or modify an item? I can, I can craft an item. Again, we can make... Something over here. Oh, uh, yes, yes, an immobilizer. Alright, I crafted an item. So now we deposit all the things. Oh, 
we take the things. And now we deposit the things. Inventory, resources, transfer everything. Yo. Alright, so now we gotta go back through here. Oops. And, nope, not that. Transfer all the food items. to be cooking. And then the lab outfit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys. Oh. Equip. Alright, so now I officially have a boost pack. And I'm no longer encumbered. Whee! Yeah, what is it? Oh, but I can't boost inside. Can I? I don't know. There's the troll charms done. Good job. So, Woo. are you ready to get that head turn? Is a little spooky. Or was there something else? maybe like 250 um no what do you know about the artifacts not much but you've seen them for yourself it doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary fair just what that is We'll have to figure out. Fair, it's fair. what we do. All right. What is constellation? What do you We're do? Explorers. I mean, I kind of got that. Tell me more. Hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all: What's out there? Okay. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. All right, I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The we? artifacts are relatively inert once they're We? Up the We're? That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise usually. Let well, me guess. You finally got a hit. Sounds promising. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at my shirt. It's Vasco. If Vasco was a cat, it's not just Vasco. It's Vascalico. Oh! <laughs> it was. I bought it during one of the conventions where uh, Dallas Pets Alive was selling them. There was a convention in, in Grapevine, <laughs> so I jumped on that. I was like, I need this. I, I hate this robot. I bought the shirt before I ever played the game. I was like, I hate this robot, but if he looked like a cat, I would be much happier. So I'm really hoping somebody does mods that you can change the robot, because I would change him into a cat so fast. Uh... Have I lost your attention? A little bit. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. Oh, I... But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places I to I bet this is going to be a challenge. Resource to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's Maybe. why Constellation exists in Maybe. To put pieces like this together. Felt the same way when I started too. There's an area. Electricity in the air, and you know you're about to uncover something. Just for you. But it's not just that. I want to go. take this opportunity to see how fun. you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. Good girl. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Oh boy, that was a lot of time with her. Got it. You and me. 
Constellation have a salary? <laughs> no, Daniel wouldn't ask that. You and me until we get that artifact. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen. <laughs> I gotta figure out what kind of goodies I can do with YouTube so for like a non monetized account. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Yeah, understood. An organization should have Those rules. Are the rules. Advance humanity's knowledge to the best of your ability. As long as you do that, I'm not here to judge you. I don't know about that. Now, let's you and I get You are mast. very judgy, Sarah. But Daniel also so thinks she's cute. No. It's a dream come true, Sarah. You know that. Look at that booty. Just making sure. Daniel like says it. Girl like you, there are Daniel no sees that booty. Opportunities. There are days that are tough, sure. But if I weren't here, I wouldn't even know about all the things we're discovering. Oh, I want this ship. <gasps> it's got a little helicopter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Quests are done. Need to do a couple chores before you forget, and then you'll log. Oh, I keep forgetting the Wrath Paladin is a blood elf. Train Pally's skills first aid, grab some stuff. Yes, he is. All right. Well, I am gonna quick save again. And head out to see what New Atlantis has to offer. I need to talk to a guy about some tree sensors. <laughs> Because I told him I would help him. So Sarah's just going to have to wait for a minute. While we help the guy with tree sensors. Because we're pretty low level still. And oh, I never did my talent point. Oh my goodness. P for talent points. I set it up the same as my WoW keybinds. Tab gets you out. But you can go straight to one of the components. I for inventory. P for, for my skills. L for my quest log. Or P for points. Okay, I have one skill point. Oh, I was going to do wellness. I was going to... Or weightlifting or whatever. What was I doing? Weightlifting. Alright, weightlifting. Done. Ultimately... By level 25, I've got rank 3. And that's as far as I tend to go. Until much later. So, okay. Now I need... To, what is my thing? Sprint 1,000 meters at 75% or more of your maximum load capacity. I can do that. Alright, Sarah, are you ready to go find some biosensors? What the hell? I equipped my jetpack. Basic boost pack. Why is no work? Why is my boost pack not working? Very confused. <gasps> Shit. I totally forgot. Is it too late to retcon that point? I forgot I needed the boost pack training. Yeah, because my weightlifting was supposed to be my first point, and so my boost pack was going to be my second point. And I was going to have it in time to get the boost pack. But. That's okay. That's okay. How far are we? We are so close to ding. We're going to go get this guy some sensors. And that'll ding us. That'll ding us. Oh, is that the one where they want us to talk to Mast? Okay, that's not what I want. Disregard. We want a tree grows in good land. Let's locate the biosensors.
There we go. Way splash. <laughs> Can't get damaged if you land in the water. And boom, here we go. Oh, a little picnic table. Sarah, sit and have lunch with me. Sarah, Sarah, where are you? Sarah! Sarah Harding! <laughs> okay, her name's Sarah Morgan. Sarah! Sarah Morgan! <laughs> I've lost her. Looking for reliable people to help the guard. She must have just gone off to wherever her people are. Have who we're supposed to talk to. Oh, it's in a tree. All right, there's one more, and a child has it. Yes. Sarah's probably over there. And I'm trying to remember where my stickers are. Oh, I found her. Hi, Sarah. What the? Well, now this is telling me to do something here. Oh, commercial district. Well, why wasn't that on there before? Judgment of Justice! Yo, fun. I forgot to tell you. Um, my desk calendar for yesterday. I still get sick on the mat. Dear autocorrect, it's never duck. Oh my gosh, why is this thing still telling me to get on the train? I just went where it told me to go. Is this- this is not the commercial district. What the? How did it put me back in the same spot that I just rode the tram to? I'm so confused. I have to go con a kid out of a sensor. Actually, I think I have to go steal a sensor. I feel like that is what I have to do. It is unfortunate. Our tender at the viewpoint would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Ugh, I don't want to talk to the bartender. That's not a quest I want. Hey, I need a mod that lets me drop quests. Too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Ah. Uh... The egg you found wasn't beeping, was it? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Damn Miss Singh over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said uh. she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Ugh. So one of my least favorite NPCs is the game is the lady over at UC Distribution. And we're about to go meet her. Alright, we're gonna do a quick save here, because I know I'm gonna have to use some stealthy stealing things. She's very rude. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. 
I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Uh, you bought an egg from a kid recently. I need it. <laughs> Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why? What is it? Uh, does it matter? Can't I just have it? I'm wondering why you've come looking for it. Just some junk I dropped so? the other day. Must mean something to you if you came looking for it. Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it. Plus, a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? See? I hate her. Can't you just give it to I me? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. And I assure you, you didn't pay out room. of your pocket. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. I'd have to walk out back there, there, then back out if here. that's true, why bother coming back for it at all? Forget it. Suit yourself. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Oh, well, certainly. Okay, so now I've at least... You're always welcome back. If you don't have <sighs> Time to go steal a sensor. Daniel doesn't have time for this shit. Keep it moving. Having a good one? Nothing to see here, folks. Just, uh... Oh, it turns red if you're stealing something! That's cool! Oh, and it's a sneak only steal. Oh, that's cool. That's even cooler. That lets you know that if you. Yoink. Uh. There we go. Yoink. So I had to wait for the guard to leave before I could take it without somebody seeing me with it. Uh. Where's my. When really keeps the distribution center in tip top shape. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I forgot the button for walking. Good night, friendo. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out and chatting. Definitely feels less lonely with a friend. So I appreciate that. We're just gonna keep uh keeping on. Till we get level 5. So that's the plan. More if I feel like it, but that's a lot to edit, so. May just wrap up this quest and call it here and then go out to visit Mars next time. Good night! I can't believe the UC just blowed us off. Alright. So I don't want to submit an application. I don't want to do quests from factions. I just want to do the main quest and get to know my peoples. I am doing faction quests on all my other characters, so I am not skipping that part of the game. I've just picked a different faction per person. So that each person has a unique journey and it's been pretty nice so far. Can't get enough of all the trees around. It's amazing there you to go. think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Mm. Sarah, can you imagine please be quiet so I can seen. talk to this guy. Thank you. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. Wait for the analysis. And just another moment. We've been giving it a moment. Your moment is over. It is working, isn't it? Ah, uh, there it is. Leaf. Thank you, Kelton. Now let's see. This is well. It's. Oh my. Oh my. 
and he just walks away. Kelton. Seems my concerns were valid all along. Well, there's good news and bad news. Oh boy. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. I'm glad your concerns yes, were validated. It does feel good to be right. Particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is yeah, changing. Yeah, I knew that was going to be bad In news. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something right. we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, the consequences for the city could be disastrous. disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. You're I hope very these welcome, are good sir. Ooh, credits. Oh, 2,000 credits for being a good citizen? Yo! Alright, check on him later. I can do that. Let's get our boost pack training. Yo, I can use my boost pack. Let's go! Yeah, there we go. All right, Sarah, let's go talk to your buddy. Come on. All right, get through the talkie talkie. Hello, Sarah's friend. Sarah. Oh, another space explorer. Uh -huh. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United nah, Colonies, earn I'm some good. credits, even get your UC citizenship? Maybe later. We have constellation business. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I don't really want to become I mean, a citizen. I, I want to find my way home. To re -enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. Reenlist. I say no. Ugh. Here's what I got. For Former you, military Vanguard lady. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Not Soul really Daniel's Mars, type. Neptune, you know. The Soul System. Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born he tends to go for the more well, can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some brainy ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Indigenous type. Uh, let's see, talk to him, make him a good offer. Scientific discovery being <laughs> the indignity. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with the soul system? That's that's us. You that's my that's my right star. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. No one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. I mean, Mars doesn't sound like a great place oh, to live, but he goes way back. clearly he we've established that we can something. live on Mars. He goes way back. If he's on patrol... What? <laughs> Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. I'm not sure gonna you two be can fine. handle it. It's not okay. The soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little hitting refresh between patrols. So I gotta figure out what to do with my thumbnail for my next video. Uh, anything you can tell me about yeah, Sidonia? Bring a coloring book. You're so used to seeing red, you forget what blues and greens look like. Uh, valid. Valid, valid. We're off to Sidonia, then. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. I'm you serious about not you taking you up on you it, see, ever. A good friend to have. Never. Never. Alright, let's... Uh... Talk to the bartender. That's a short quest that can net me some XP. So off to the viewport to see a woman about a 
bar tab or something, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. We'll go find out. We shall see. I hope I wasn't supposed to hit start recording at the same time that I hit start streaming. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna see if it'll let me do both. No, I think it's just automatically. Oh, maybe. Maybe I was supposed to hit start recording and start streaming at the same time. possible. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I may have messed that up. I probably should have checked on this first. To see if my stream was doing its thing. Uh, 118. Uh-oh. Alright, so this thing is not recording the way it's supposed to. I was supposed to hit start recording. I didn't record any of this. Oh my gosh, I'm three hours in and I haven't recorded any of it. Holy crap. Scuffed Daniel video. Hopefully, hopefully I can yank it out of the stream without having too many weird... Ugh, gross. That's all gonna be in a single audio file. Rip. Well, this is all about learning, and now we know. Now we know. I should have checked that as soon as I got started, but I was having so many problems with the audio. Ah, butts. Oh well. We'll do one video up to this point, and the next video will be the rest of the session that is actually recorded. So, the first one will be a little... No background music, just the game. The second one will actually have nice background music and all the game audio stripped out. Uh, I don't know, we're, we'll play it by ear, but I, I'll just keep going for another three hours, and we'll have enough content. I thought my computer wasn't working hard enough. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to the lady. Let's do the thing. Hey, lady! Hi, how are you? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. Bethesda First time charm. in New Atlantis? Uh... Definitely Bethesda charm here. <laughs> what is this? So, start recording. Oh, hey, she turned around. Hello. Thank you for turning around. I didn't think it was that obvious. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just... Something to say to customers. Break the ice. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. She's cute too, and I really that like her accent. You, new guy? I wish we could Let romance anybody in the game. That would be incredible. Business seems to be yep. booming. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just like, I'm not you, super interested in the romance I stuff. In the works that'll change everything. But if I could pick anybody, drink, make this I would be famous. much more interested Galaxy in that component. Fun. Uh, depends on what's in it. Well, at the moment, it's what's not in it that's an issue right now. Yeah, Don't there we go. For the it's to the heart of the matter. I made a deal with Holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. It never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship... Less than legal cargo. Less than legal. Security got wind, and the whole lot was found. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. All right. Um, you should go talk to security. See if you can get what's yours. I submitted all the paperwork. Believe me, 
It won't amount to anything, but I didn't. And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on my cargo. Messaging fun. To be like, by the way, if you're ever trying to stream and record at the same time, you have to hit start recording. It's not automatic. <sighs> Sounds like you need a helping hand, it's lady. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here many, in Atlantis many or laws. the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, listen on this? Surely you're not seriously considering this course of action. The last thing we need is UC security on our backs. Um. Sarah's not gonna like this. I don't think this is something I can help you with. I, I don't wanna let Sarah down. Oh, but I need that persuasion check. God. Sarah no disliked that. Sorry, I'm Sarah. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Okay. We'll figure something out. What have you tried already? Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms. Okay. But because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as a new slogan. You <laughs> polite, but unhelpful. Polite, but unhelpful. <laughs> Truth in advertising, eh? Oh, I love it. Don't I'm worry, I'll figure worried. something out. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. All right. Stop by anytime you'd like to catch it. Sarah, I'm sorry you don't like this, but we're helping people. Totally random sneezes. It's really dry. It dries out my sinuses and makes me sneezy. Sorry about that. Where was I going? Uh, port. Here we go. New Atlantis information. You know what? Sometimes just by reading these, you get um, things unlocked. So I'm going to hit that. Take a little shortcut through the veranda. A diplomatic visa? You got to be uh, somebody else going to need help. Yep. Law's the law, sir. And that one's still on the books. New Atlantis Security Charter 2308 Addendum, Article 2, Section 8. You may hold that up. There is no such addendum. The war ended almost 20 years ago. I am Representative Evans Chisholm of the Free Star Collective. I've been coming here for months trying to ensure continued peace. I mean, the I NPC name the confirms that he is Representative I Chisholm. Have a good day now. Someplace else. Hey, no loitering. What a horrible person you are. I help you. 
Yeah, what's your problem with that, man? It sounds like... Do I need a diplomatic visa to enter New Atlantis? A what? Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Heard my talk with a good representative, did you? No, you're fine. Ah, it's just a little game I like to play with the Free Star Collective guys. Yeah, I don't like it. Keep them on their toes. Make sure they know who's boss here in New Atlantis. You know what I mean? No. Diplomatic visa. <laughs> Politicians haven't needed one of those since mean. the colony war. Oh, you heard that? Like I said, he needs a diplomatic visa to enter the city. Yeah. Hey, uh, you could have let him I mean, in. Yeah, sure. I could have. And I could say you assaulted me. Because that's what having power is. Now why don't you go take a walk? Well, that's a little bit too close to real life, so what? I'm gonna walk away. Can't you see I'm, I'm dealing with something? Yeah, I'm here to help you. Did you not hear? They won't let me enter the city. Me, a political envoy who comes here constantly trying to help prevent another war. Uh huh. And this is the thanks I get? They won't let me enter without a diplomatic visa? Ridiculous. Oh, I will help really? you, sir. <laughs> and here I am biting your head off. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Thank you. I'm just, well, rather flustered. Look. If you have time, I'd be flustered could you please too. go to the Free Star Collective Embassy and speak to a diplomat. They'll know what to do. My pleasure, my good deed for the Thank day. Thank you. I'll wait here until the embassy sends the cavalry. Not like I have much choice. But I gotta go here first. Once I get up here, I gotta do a quick save. We're gonna have a good chit chat with ye old security forces. Alright, that's about where I want to stop. Quick save. Alright, quick save animation goes through. And we're gonna have a chit chat with Mr. Dude Man Bro here. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Yeah, sure. Why is this area locked oh, up? Security impounded <clears throat> a ton of cargo and didn't have storage space for it all, so we're holding on to some of it until they can run inventory. So, you need something? Or... How often do they clear uh, out? Uh, not really sure. Whenever they get through their backlog, I guess. No reason you're asking? That's not enough time. Got some cargo. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really just let you in there. Yeah, I think you can. Thank you. There yeah, we go. I hope so. All right, look, don't tell there anyone. There we go. I Persuasion thing. success. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. If anyone asks, I saw nothing. Sarah's really not going to like this. All right, make it quick. Right? Okay, we're going to quick save right here. We're gonna get her package. Go ahead and take all that. Uh, we're gonna see what else I might be able to pocket. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What a lame impound lot. You saw nothing, sir. Nothing to see here. Nothing, nothing. Hey, boost back. I need to go to the Outfitters and get Daniel some of those blue cargo things. I don't know if they'd have them. I usually find those when I'm out and about. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Hmm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Yeah, yeah. Hey, lady. Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hi, right, let's go. Uh, I have a present for you. Oh, no way. You really got it? <laughs> I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. Um, 
Don't worry, nobody I died getting this. Not. <laughs> this is a huge deal to me, but it's not worth You're welcome. either of us murdering over. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. <laughs> On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick me up now and then? I got you covered. I, I need some time to work on what comes next. But this, this was the difficult part, I think. Really, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Alrighty. For any interesting news lately. I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy flung down. Oh, when I first heard about that's it, new. I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. And it's not like they're ever coming back. House for room, I mean. Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. I think they're coming back in the expansion. Oh, I think that's what's gonna happen. But that's not Sarah. Yo, I want that outfit. Lady, where'd you get those clothes? Can I have those clothes? Who are you? Logan, talk I really to me. Got this place. Couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Anything you recommend doing? There's a huge tree in the embassy district, across from the mass station. I've already done that. Trust me, it may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. I've it's already done so that. so cool. Oh, maybe I just love trees. Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis. I want her so vest. There's no shortage of people to me. Daniel I wants love that outfit. I talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. Oh. What does your brother He's do? I've never talked to and her before. That wasn't ever. Enough, he's stationed in Sidonia. He keeps telling me it's safe <sighs> and how he loves his job. I'm going I there. Just worry about him Next. So much. Okay. All I ever hear about Sidonia is how many people get hurt in accidents there. I just. I mean, it's a mining there. colony, lady. Seriously. I hope you're right. I just have such a hard time believing that, though. But, oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. It just feels good. She's gonna give me a quest or something. Alright, let's go oh, through sure. this again. There's, I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Not to mention, it's also... Are you worried about your brother? Of course. He's a marine stationed in Sidonia. My dad worked his butt off so that we could all have safe jobs here in New Atlantis. But Chris ran off to Sidonia the first chance he got. Chris! He says he's okay, and that he loves his job and all that. But I don't think he understands how hard this is on our family. I'd be worried too. Finally, someone understands. Okay, clearly I've said the right thing this time. I guess I can only hope that Chris will come to his senses one day. But anyways, I apologize. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. I just had to get that all off my chest. Do you have a quest for me now? No, okay. I have a good one. Oh. Oh, look at this handsome devil. Pardon. Talk to me, Marika. Hey there. You look like the planet hopping type. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Uh, I'm not hiring right now, sorry. I get it. Make your way then. If you change your mind, you can find me here. Okie dokie. We got, uh, no. We're not gonna hire anybody here. Um. He picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making him strong today. You in uh, town for business? Uh, official Constellation business? You're with Constellation? Yeah! Damn, that's cool. I've always admired you guys. Exploring the stars full-time seems like a dream come true. That seems like we have that in common. 
personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for mass. Wish I could help, but I don't have any openings on my crew. Dang, that's too bad. Thanks anyway. If you meet any pilots looking for weapons experts, send them my way, will you? I I might I might need you later, friend. Don't uh don't stray too far. Alright, so we gotta get over to Mast District, which I believe is where the uh the guy the representative needs me to talk to somebody, so. Um, oh shit, is it commercial? Uh, don't remember. Complete a reset. Oh, okay, I haven't done that. Um, oh, okay, yeah. Commercial then. Let's go. Let's go talk to the lady. I wonder if they're open in the middle of the night, because Daniel doesn't sleep, apparently. There's no sleeping for Daniel. We are... Okay, they are way down here at the back, so we're gonna boost our way down and have a chit-chat with ye old representative from the Freestar Collective. Now, Daniel doesn't know anything about the Freestar Collective. And, uh... I don't know if that's for better or for worse. No, I am absolutely not working for Ryujin. No, that is it's a shame an incredibly interesting quest chain, but not at all something that this guy is built for. Hey, lady. The guards will check you at the elevators. Try not to no. make a fuss. Welcome I got things to, to talk to you RNC. about. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, let's go this route. You can't forget what you don't need. Uh huh. Like visas haven't been in use since the colony war. That's what I thought. No, this sounds to me like a guard bought a red marker and colored some tape. Yep. I'll make a call to Sergeant Yumi and see if I can't get this squared away. Thanks for the tip. You are very I welcome. It's Happy been to help. Decades since we were at war with the collective. Oh, wants me to check in on like Kelton. Yesterday. Let's go check in on Kelton. Maybe we should stop for a moment at the morning. You know, to pay our respects. Oh, okay. Where? A monument? This looks like a monument. Sarah, is this the monument? Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Fine by me. Okay, let's get to know Sarah a little bit. Um, what do you consider your areas of expertise? Mm, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past yes, five years, lady. Apart from that, let's see. What are you actually good at? I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics. Calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. That does and sound useful. As far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So don't worry. Botany. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. Okay. What do you like to do for fun? is my entire life. Okay. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession. Who is this? You have to promise to Lady, between us. go away. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And a no, band? I don't mean the school band. Uh, uh, I mean a rock band. Uh, we called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> ironic? A ridiculous name, Comet. I know. But uh, ironic we were just Comet. a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no. I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but Ooh. those were good times, and I remember them fondly. I strongly regret not talking to any of these people and asking them personal questions. Like, it 
was never, I wasn't interested in romance, so I just didn't do anything that really related to the companions. I regret it, because that was, that is cool, fun lore for Sarah. Oh my gosh, weird lady in the background, go away. <laughs> uh... So, Daniel can relate to Sarah because he also, his entire life is exploring through the Stargate, other planets, or in the past, I'm pontificating Sarah, in the past, he would do archaeology and explore ruins. Sarah, Sarah, we have a lot in common. I also am deeply dedicated to exploration, exploration of our past and exploration of our present. And maybe somewhere between the two, we can find hints of exploration of our future. Sarah, Sarah Morgan. I'm sorry, I can't see the straight face. All right, what are your religious beliefs? Let's go. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened. Hey, me my too. Were so busy, they rarely pursued their beliefs. Maybe my parents By are dead. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having totally been totally understand and agree, in Sarah. Starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious I agree. Theory. I'm I sorry agree. if that disappoints you. No, Don't no, worry. we're on the same page. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. We have the same religious beliefs. I'll be here. Talk to you later. Yeah, Daniel's parents died in, uh, oh, Representative Chisholm made it through. Speak to someone at the embassy. They'll be able to clear this up. I fixed it. I really You're here. For all this religion stuff, but I like talking to Aquilus. I'll talk to you in a second. Daniel's parents died in um, an accident in a museum while they were setting up a large display of very heavy rocks. Um, so he's been an orphan since he was a kid. There are worse ways. He followed in their footsteps. Terence. Terence, I'm having a conversation with his parent. Oh. Well, don't walk away from me. I'm going to be there in a second. Um, Daniel followed in his parents' footsteps and became an archaeologist. Hey. I keep coming back here. I really like what that... Hello. Wait a second. I was going to go talk to the party over there, but they broke up. Hey, creepy lady. What's up? The you kept... The Free Star Collective has no place in New Atlantis. Yo, what's your problem with the Free Star Collective? What's my problem with them? Really? I'm keeping the FC accountable for the terrible things they've done. Ooh. The colony war was an unforgivable tragedy. Countless lives could have been spared, but the Free Star Collective was out for blood. The Free Star Collective took my father away from me. I don't know about that. I mean, that's awful, but... I don't really know what happened, right? I'm just recently been catapulted into the future. I'm not even certain that I'm in the future. I might be in an alternate universe and I don't know what's going on. What happened was terrible. We have to try to move on is the advice I would give. I don't want us to move on. I want people to wake up and realize what the FC did to us. And I want them to be angry. I want justice and closure for everyone in the UC. Oh, what do you think should happen? Go ahead, lay it on me. I want it torn down, of course. The fact that there's even a You little anarchist. It's The only way to make peace. Tear it all down. The only way to make peace, child, is diplomacy. That see, yes! Diplomacy is needed to make sure another colony war won't happen. We need that embassy. Mmm. You're, They'll break any law you're what, 16? You don't know anything. It doesn't matter to them. Look, we're done talking. You can't change. Stupid. 
She'll grow up eventually. Has helped me through some tough times lately. Says the man drink. Well, I mean, it looks like a milk carton technically. You're hiding from me while you drink it. Are you gonna chuck it and? Have you ever heard one of his sermons? They're really good. Face this way so I can see you. Hi, thank you. Even just the sound of his voice is comforting. Right? I'm not sure that's milk. <laughs> it's kind of staggering everywhere. Uh, I'm sure I'll get to hear one of his sermons some other time, but not tonight. Oh, who is this? This place always surprises me. Okay. I don't even know what I was doing. Oh, I was going to talk to the guy again. Was I? The tree man. I think I was off to talk to tree man again. I mean, I thought I needed to go do the, the Mars stuff before I could talk to tree man again. But here we are. And here he is. Let's go. Thank you for your help retrieving the biosensors. You're welcome. Let's hope that Mast takes these findings seriously. The data from the biosensors. I was told to talk to you again. Oh my goodness. Check in on Kel. <sighs> talk to Sergeant Yumi. All right, we're gonna talk to Sergeant Yumi, uh, see what he wants us to do. Eventually we need to head to the well and do that quest chain. That should pretty much get us close to five. And at level five, I feel comfortable going and doing things. So. I'll have double weightlifting. I'll have the boost pack. I'll have the persuasion. And I know there's a guy at the bar I can persuade if I get it right. That should finish out my persuasion, then I don't have to worry about that anymore. So then I'll be able to get my next weightlifting at level 5. Yeah. Shoot, we may, we may go for level 6. I don't know. Oh. That is foggy and rainy. Do I see rain? Is there weather to geek out about? Oh my gosh, yes, there's thunderstorms! Yes, yes, yes! Yo, let's go find the thunderstorms. Let's find a like a good vantage point for thunderstorms. Oh, where can I go to get a vantage point? Always liked that statue. Okay, yes. Nice statue. Can we like climb up the statue? Continue to climb the statue. Slope. No, I don't think we can climb that. I'm not gonna waste time on it. Ah, how do I? How get up back on with that to see thunderstorms? Okay, so oh, Shiza, um, you know, we're just gonna stand at the corner over here where nothing can impede my view. Let's go. Yo, can I walk over the ramp? Can I go all the way out there? Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Fantastic. I'm going to be like the tallest object out here. I'm going to get struck by lightning. Y'all watch this. Okay, so thunderstorms. Oh, lightning. Beautiful. What time is it? Okay, so, thunderstorms are amazing. Rain is amazing. Oh no, did it just end? You son of a bitch. Come on, man! Come on! Ugh. <gasps> Still lightning in the background. Can you hear that? There's a delay in the thunder from the lightning. Oh my 
gosh, are you serious right now? A plus weather effects, Bethesda. A plus. And it's getting further away. Oh my gosh. I need to talk to whoever programmed the weather effects of Bethesda. Like, I really, really want to pick your brain and tell you how amazing you did because this is mind-boggling to me. So, like, the storm just cleared out right? Like, the clouds have been getting fewer and fewer as we stood here. Go back and rewatch it. And now the Milky Way is there for everybody to see. Holy moly. Or as Sam would say, holy Hannah. Oh my god, that's incredible. Ha! <laughs> I'm, I'm a super califragilistic expialidocious. It's what you say when you don't know what to say. God, that's brilliant. Somebody get me in. Oh, who's standing literally inside? Oh, here we go. Sarah, way to absolutely destroy the moment. <sighs> Beth has the charm. I'm going to pretend like she's trying to stand behind me and, like, snuggle me and set her chin lovingly on my shoulder. That's that's the RP looking out over the bay at the, the Milky Way. Oh, and now she's going, doing some weird stuff. This So this is a thing that's happening right now. Um... I feel the same way, Sarah. <laughs> Dude, this this is gonna be like a small video all in of itself. I really hope you'll enjoy this this shoot this short little segment here because this is fantastic. Oh, and she's gone. She made a grab for my crotch at the last second and then just disappeared. So I oh, and she's back. I don't really... Okay. End scene. Random ships just taking off in the background. Like, it's a living world. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're done. Goodbye, Sarah. We're gonna quick save. We're gonna hard save, actually. I don't trust a quick save to this. What happens if I leave the city? Just curious, cause, you know, I'm an explorer. I hear a ship. There it is. Can I land on a tree? I can! I can land on a- I'm inside a tree! Ouchies. Can I go over there? Can we go explore outside of the city, but in the land? I don't know. We're going to find out. I know that I can fast travel back to the city. But can I go explore the world? I mean, this is some really scuzzy water. Like, I do not recommend swimming in this, but here we are. <laughs> There we go. Okay. 
All right, so let's go. Let's go see what the world has to offer us. Um. Hey, we can scan things. All right, cool. We could just up and leave the city and go find things on the map. This is incredible. Holy smokes. This is cool. Okay, don't climb rocks. Just walk around them, my friend. Alright. Structure. Plant structure. Another plant structure. Alright, well, let's go here. It's only... I know one of the critters- oh, hello. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, well, don't stand in those. Anything interesting in range? Oh, these guys. These guys are interesting. I'm not looking to make y'all angry, I just want to scan you. Alright, I just need to scan things. And then, uh, pick up some water. done scanning that. Yo, we found Argon. Very nice. Chlorosilane. Yeah, we're huffing and puffing. I know. That's okay. Were there some guys over here that I didn't get scanned? I don't know. Oh, I don't think, did I get this guy? Oh my gosh, stop walking up to those things. Alright, we're done with that plant. Snail, snail, hurting creature. Okay. Not a bad effort, y'all. Not a bad effort at all. And we are slowly making our way toward the uh, the structure over here, the plant-based structure, which could be a trait for all we know. It could be a planetary trait. Oh, there's another one. Regular structure. I mean, I don't see why we can't just like bust down some things. Got more coral bugs, or we got a coral bug. Oh boy. Are right, y'all ready for this? I mean, these are the critters that I need to kill to get things to make food, so. Not I'm another good. one! Good job, Sarah. Sarah, just let him go. Let's go over here and get these things. Got ourselves a little snaily poo. Uh oh, is he dead? He is now. Okay, so we gotta check all these corpses. 
for items that one might use. Hmm. Oh, coral bug. Sorry, buddy. Thank you for taking one for the team. Okay. Stay on target. Stay on target. Alright, I mean Daniel is an explorer, so this is this is fine. Wind powered farm? Yo! I've got like 60 hours in this game and I've never seen one of these. What is happening right now? Yeah, I'll take some chunks of apple, I guess. Woo! Kraken! Hook me up. Just leave pack. Ship parts? Why, thank you. I think I will. The people that inhabited this location oh. left it in quite a state. Oh. That is maybe something we don't want to mess with at level four, huh? That's that's a terrible idea. That's uh that's a terrifying creature. Let's not do that. Nope. Let me just sneak around without him seeing us. Sushi rolls. Okay. Let's go in here. All right, and uh, let's see what we can find. Deep mining spacesuit. I think I will. Wow, this is. Gosh, I hope that thing can't get in here. I'll take some cake. Ooh, some chardonnay. What is this? Superfood paste set. Okay, sure. Oh. Alright, well, now that we've quick save, let's do it. Alright, so that works, and we've got our other one there. Uh, let's see how this sets up. Let's kind of go this way. There we go. And that one. Okie dokie. Start. There we go. Easy money. Wrong. Not wrong. Bubble, bubble. That's the top of the coolant. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, that doesn't sound good. They're having a bad day outside right now. Woohoo! I'll take some credits. Yeah, I'll go buy some DigiPix with that. Um, mm -mm. Nothing there. But somebody is having a very bad time. Yeah. I'll steal the credits. Sneak, that's fine. Somebody in here that I don't know about? Give me the credits. We are not leaving this facility. Ooh, med pack. Um, hey! Maybe that'll look better than whatever Daniel's wearing right now. Pack a smoke skin bottle. Expert. Something good in there. Expert. Okay, we'll just have to come back when we're an expert then. And for now, I think we're good. All right.
Okay, so we found a thing outside the city, and now we can, ah, we can port back here anytime we want. Nice, nice. Very nice. Okay, so, since there's a Terramorph outside, I don't really want to go back out there. So, at this point, I'm going to uh, opt into using my fast travel to get back to the spaceport and talk to Sergeant Yumi. Yes, let's go. We're going to do a quick save, and then I'm going to take a three to five minute break. We're about four hours in right now. Uh, we're going to do a BRB. I'm going to shove some food down my gullet. And then go talk to Sergeant Yumi when we get back. So, quick save. And into the menu. And now the BRB.
Okay. We're back. We're back, we're back. I got some beef jerky and cheese. The dog has... The dog has... Uh, Where's my game? Maybe we have to go through the whole screen. Um, where's my game? I'm very confused. The game has just utterly stopped responding. Capture specific window. Starfield. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a save and exit and then come back in. I guess. If at any point the game wants to pop up, that would be nice. Okay, we're just gonna hard quit the whole game. It's thinking about it. You can hear it. I know you can hear it, but we can't see it. There it is. But now it's going bye-bye. Okay. We'll just get back in while I continue to uh, stuff my face. Now it's not showing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> like, come on. So this is where we left off. Here we go. If there's a crunching noise in the background, it's because I gave the dog a pig ear. Which she should munch on and then promptly fall back asleep. Alright, we were talking to Sergeant Yumi. We also need to check vendors for um, food items and for um, clothing items. Oh, we got a new piece of clothing. Oh, no. No, thank you. Dora, good to see you. Listen, I uh, smoothed over that incident between Mateo and Rosa at the Sanctum. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with Mateo any Mateo and Rosa? We gotta be on the lookout for somebody named Rosa. Part-time security officer. The position is very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave. Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours. Not type of really situation. the security officer type there. So my, really, my we friend. just need someone to fill the void. Interested? Mm, not right now. No. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate the interest. If you change your mind, please don't hesitate to come back. Have a good day.
talk to him. Back again. Are you interested in the job? By any chance? No, I'm still not interested. No, thank you. I appreciate the interest. If you change your mind, please don't hesitate to come back. Have a good day. I need to find this well place and help some people. Contrary to what you might have heard, you see security personnel are good people. And Sergeant Yumi just happens to be an old friend. It's been a long time since I've been to Mars. Fine by me. Do we have new questions? No. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> ah, I know how to get to the well. Maybe there's a door here, though. It'll save me a train ride. Does this go to the well? Ah, it does. Waterfall promenade. Maybe we go there first. That sounds pretty. I bet it's prettier during the daytime. This is called a waterfall promenade. I'm not seeing any waterfalls. This does not check out. Hey man, you look sad. Kind of busy right now. Okay. What about you? Do you have names? Is this called the waterfall promenade? I, I'm disappointed in this. Okay, farewell. Y'all can just continue to do what you do. Alright, let's go to the well. Help some people! I'm getting a warning from YouTube. Okay, it says my bit rate is low, but I set it to 4,000, so if it's below that, it's not my fault. That is what it is. Okay. We are in the well. A quick save. I wonder if I can open this while he's not facing me. Happy to make a deal. You need stuff, I need credits. It all works out. Hmm. Microgun. I don't know if that's worth it. Can I go back here? And then uh, close it behind me. Oh my 
could just steal his entire inventory. Oh my god. Yo, yo, close the door. Sarah, what are you doing? I was trying to do this before you got here. Oh, it's empty. It's also empty? What? Green spacesuit, yo. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Man, I've never been back here. Son of a gun. That's just. <sighs> Daniel's not really the, the thieving sort. Nothing there worth stealing either. Like, all this stuff is worth stealing. What kind of prices are we talking here, Bucko? You ask me, the real new Atlanta. All this stuff is legit. Problems. Does the UC have you a lot around, of surplus? You tell me. UC is a big organization. A lot of planets, a lot of people, a whole lot to keep track of. Sometimes they don't do such a good job at that. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks, winds up collecting dust in some. Warehouse. But that's all right. Because I, by extension, you get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. A lot of people will tell you it's the worst. One step above being homeless. They'll whine about how folks topside had it so much better. Me? I more real down here. Isn't that Outside, the way it always goes, though? Everyone's trying to show how civilized and rich they are. Oh, it's exhausting. But, hey, to each their own. Alright, let's see what you got. Absolutely. Alright, ready to shoot. Heavy, but good. I might go steal one of those after all. to break even on the helmet. All right. Oh, that's the blue one. What's the other blue one. I like the flight too. Look. Your back out. <laughs> Wash her back. Fantastic. Let's go, yo, dude. Look at no. That. That. Yes. Alright, Daniel looks right.
All right, cool. Yo, look at us. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dude, I need to sell things. Come here. I got contacts all over. Pick your time. I got all day. Sell the tunnel mining pack. Mm. Ah, yes. Sell the settler comfort wear. Ah, we'll keep the Argos jumpsuit in case we need to blend in somewhere. Oh, snap. We never went. To Need something else? I'll be nah, man, we're good. All right, so we're gonna go this way. We're gonna find Reliant. There's Reliant Medicine. Talk to the lady. Buy some med packs. I've, I've got limited resources. But I try not to. We're no Reliant Medical down here, but oh, I've got credits, I might have something. Sorry to confuse you for Reliant Medical. I'm going to buy four of those. Alright, let's stop getting distracted and find the lady. Alright. This quest chain is gonna take us like a freaking hour. Hey! Oh, XP! You're not Garl. Sorry. I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once, and Garl isn't here, so I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. We're trying to isolate a power drain, which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems I can do that. and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really. I'm relatively give, safe. give me the boxes. Oh, I can go power down the boxes. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. I think the real question is, where's Carl? I can talk you through it remotely. Can I just go I'm find Carl for you? Station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. I was just there. somebody talking. Oops, say citizen. Tony, what? Wasn't listening. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the same <clears throat> system. And they like Hey, can you hear me? I think this is working. Okay. I yep, only have a general good. view of things. But you should be that's it. Go that's it. We got it. So that trip to secondary breaker. That goes to. Oh wow, really? They wired it like that. Jeez. Yeah, okay. they wired it like okay, that. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jake's, and maybe up a story or two. It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. What do you want? I'm very busy, as you can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. There we go. Be near the next 
large junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. That's the one. Got it. This one's not too far. Dead end, right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to... Oops. So, good luck with that, right? All right, we do a quick save and we unlock the thing. Oh, well, that one in. That's not how that's supposed to fit. Okay, that one goes there. That one goes there. Last click is so satisfying, isn't it? That's terrifying. Uh, what? Oh, Shiza. Sarah, help. Holy moly! A level 4 just took out a level 12? Maybe I could have done the Terramorph. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, he's dead, Jim. He's very dead. God, is there another one? I'm like, what the? Navigate. I mean, is it really stealing when it comes from a dead person? I don't like this having to crouch to steal stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll take the I ale. didn't sign on for these kind of illegal shenanigans. I don't need the hat, lady. She's never gonna love me. Every single thing is a steal. Why would you let me in here and then tell me that I'm stealing everything? Ooh. Let's read his inbox. From Nico. Looking to purchase a Model S? Oh, is that Tesla? Yes, his robots are badass. Oh, okay. Okay, he wanted a robot. Well, have one. Decommissioned from the elliptic. I don't care what's your so what's security gonna do when I unleash Big Bruno on them. Oh no! Orison Tower at midnight. I bring all the cash. Two days, best day of your life. You need to come back immediately and give me my money. Lucky I'm willing to let you live after that. What did he do? You got tofid. You got tofu food. What the? You were all, hello, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have the money? Thank you, please. And I was like, here's your money. Bam, bam, bam. Now I have Bruno. What are you going to do? Go to the UC? Selling black market robots is illegal. Idiot. Wow. It was funny. I do have the money. Keep it next to my bed. Not that you'll ever know. Oh, jeez. You out of your mind? Can you possibly be that stupid? You know who bought that? Oh, do the words remote activation mean anything to you? Bring me my money or you'll be dead. 
Ha ha. Tofu. Oh, he's dead. My dude is dead. Oh, he deserved it. He's a thief. I'm stealing from a thief, so I don't feel bad. Grow up, Sarah. Learn the way of the world. Slippers. <laughs> My dude deserved that. Alright, I'm gonna quick save because I can't believe that robot didn't kill me. Laser cutter is OP. Hmm. Jakes. Park. Any vacancies on your crew? Nope. Okay. Maybe next time then. Yes. Oh, my computer's throttling. That's what that noise is. Howdy. Some of the shit from the Fistar systems might actually kill you. You took enough of it. But you know, it's cheap, so silver linings and all that. You buying? You better be buying. I don't do small talk. Down here, like that's somehow different from other bars. Wars, maybe? That's what we're implying. All right, so streams when I'm also recording might have about a two-hour limit. What are you? A structural engineer? Some mass egghead? I know full well what down here implies. First of all, I didn't ask what you thought of. Second. Don't blow smoke up my ass. We both know it ain't nice. Wasn't trying to blow smoke up your ass, man. Yeah. Alright. Jake Stout, okay. Alright, you know. Board. How much space do I need? 198 kilograms. How long do I have? Five days? Whole bow. Sure, why not? Let's try it. Alright, Sarah. Let's finish this brown out thing. You should be near the next junction box. If those squatters never cleared out, I would suggest avoiding eye contact. It should mm. be fine. Another switch flip, another lead to follow. And the lights in here just flicker too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... Uh... Oh, the train authority. Okay. Just find that and, uh... We don't talk to anyone about it just yet. Maybe don't tell anyone. Okay. We're gonna have to do this okay. later. The final box I need you to deal with should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real big old game. Like 200 years of building depths to rewire things. I tried to fix it for This is where I just click things until the door finally thing. opens. Give up on the third. Anyway, there should be a series of secondary breakers you need to deal with before you can access the junction box. I don't remember the order. Until all those circuits are powered yeah, I, I flip a completely different order every time, and uh, eventually it just, it works. I 
There we go. Boom, boom, boom. I think that's it. Yep, we're good. I'm gonna save. And like I said, my computer has been throttling, so it's clearly getting a bit toasty. Starfield tends to do this. Um, streaming and recording at the same time might just be too much for it to handle. So we're looking at maybe a couple of hours per stream which is most of my streams aren't going to be as long as this one so that's fine but i'm going to go ahead and call it here i guess and daniel can continue helping people in the well when we get back to it next time whenever that ends up being um yeah thank you everybody for stopping by thank you fun for uh, agreeing to attempt to learn how to mod <laughs> i'll get that set up and uh yeah that's going to be it for us tonight so Going to go ahead and quit here. Confirm that we're exiting to main menu. And hopefully I'll have that video out for y'all in a couple more hours. So, see ya.